Hello campers, it's time for our annual activity. This year, we're going to be summoning a demon. Listen, summoning a demon, it's not all just inscribing sigils and aligning your sacral chakras. You're going to need guidance. So I brought with me today, my name is Camp Counselor Tad. To my left... Well, I'm Joe. I mean, it's almost time for my annual shower. Um, so I think I'm going to get that in within a couple days and I will be good to go. And then to my right is Camp Counselor Kirsten. Also known as Salty, I still have my gun. So we've gathered several testimonials from members of the illustrious Succubus Summoning Community, or Suckers as we call ourselves. Listen, it's not all fun and games. There's a lot of semen, there's a lot of blood, it's serious business, and we need you to be prepared for what's to come in the future. But maybe just a little bit of kissing. Maybe, if we're lucky. Oh yeah. So what alright, so the type of demon we're summoning obviously is a succubus. So what is a succubus? Uh, you know, I mean, it's it's kind of like, if, if, picture a demon, right? And then picture a demon with breasts, Ooh. and there we go. A demon is allegedly a child of Lilith. Who's Lilith, right? Mm -hmm. According to Google, Lilith is a powerful sorceress in the Mato Monogatari series, where she was oh. the wife of Satan until she lost her physical body when using the Seraphim orb to create the Mato world, of which she is now the guardian. I remember that. I think she was in Naruto as well. I thought she was Adam's first wife. Yeah. Yeah. In Jewish folklore, uh, Lilith is Adam's first wife. And according to one of our experts, uh, she topped Adam and that insulted God. So he kicked her out of the Garden of Eden. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. It was in my Bible studies. <laughs> she girl bossed too hard to the sun. All right. So what can a succubus do? Right. A succubus doesn't grant you power or anything really useful. Instead, they just make you magna cum loud. Mm. Mm. Beyond that, it varies on which not crazy person you listen to. Some people have a succubus as their lifelong companion, some as a temporary sex buddy, and then they get ghosted. Some believe that you can even become a succubus after death, like a vampire's familiar. Ooh, so that wouldn't be good. That'd be <laughs> like being like reborn as like a grasshopper. Like now you just have to like fuck a bunch of people with grease dripping down out of, the, out of their hair. <laughs> Children of the corn. Yeah. Imagine having to work for a succubus for like most of your life with the promise of becoming a succubus. Boy, when you get reincarnated, you're gonna ride so much dick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're gonna have to sleep with somebody in SpongeBob pajamas. Yeah. It's like congratulations, you died. Now you have to talk to men. All right. So why don't you just talk to a woman instead of summoning a demon? Women are just like. Uh. They're yeah. a lot of hard work. Scary. <laughs> yeah, scary. Yeah. They're demons. <laughs> so all you have to do to keep a succubus is devote all of your free time, provide constant attention and affection, forfeit all your physical possessions, and only engage romantically with them through the astral plane, which is a lot easier than maintaining eye contact at the grocery store. Well, and the hygiene thing, too. Is, but I, yeah. Yeah. They don't care uh, if you're stinky. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. Succubi don't have noses. <laughs> These succubus need to, like... Organize themselves. They need to unionize. <laughs> unionize succubus. Yeah, they're going to make 13 an hour. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, we're going to start with the e-how of Yahoo Answers, Quora, oh. which I found out. This is my first time actually really going into Quora in a very long time. Their names for their communities is Quorons. Oh, yeah, that fits them. Yep. But you also got to pay to, like, access the back catalog as well. Yeah, those fuckers. I found many premium answers. Mm-hmm. All right, so, Quora question one. How do I summon a succubus in my room? It's mostly people saying don't do it because they're little piss babies. Yeah, yeah, pussies. Yeah, the general consensus is you uh, write a letter of intent to the queen of succubuses, Lilith, who gives you one of her daughters to fuck. Mm. Right? Oh, yeah. That seems like a fair trade. I what does she get out of it? Yeah, she gets, uh, well, we'll get to that. There's, oh, there's several okay. goals of the okay, succubi. Okay. Yeah, right. comb. Fucking stop. I, I, I was on my horse. My horse was whinny and neighing. It was galloping. <laughs> okay. So, all right. One user uh, named Shadow People Are Cowards. Don't do it. 
They'll do anything and do as much as possible to take you to hell with them. But oh well, your choice. I don't feel bad for you. And he has a fucking forum signature in 2022. What it's probably beef, a Bible quote. What beef does this man have with the shadow people? Well, this is this is what his signature is. As I write this answer, someone on Quora is creating phony profiles that look just like mine and using them to send abusive slash harassing messages to people. If you receive an abusive PM or comment, check the profile carefully. It probably isn't me. Yeah, nope, I never do that. I never, like, uh, send people, like, pictures of, like, headless bodies, or I, I no. never, yeah, Sending I never horse do Sending horse girls, like uh, photos of slaughterhouses, Joe, you mm -hmm. never done that? I, no, I never did that. I did not do that whenever I was 13, 14, <laughs> or 15. Unauthorized use of this information is subject to civil and criminal penalties mm -hmm. for impersonating this man on Quora. Yeah. I think that next year's activity, everybody should write letters citing themselves as shadow people or cowards. I should. I really stick it to this internet <laughs> schizo. <clears throat> next question. Have anyone had a relationship of any kind with a spirit or demon such as a succubus? If so, how was it? I'll have Joe read this answer. Oh, OK, sure. Uh, I have, bro, the greatest sexual pure pleasure. All I saw was her huge tits, tight pussy. <laughs> My big fat cock was ready to tear it up with moans and screams. <laughs> I perform my own sex rituals and request... Holy shit. I want people to know that it took me a long time to decode these cryptic messages these fucking people type. Because, like, the, the spelling is, like, really, really off. It's and it, Yeah, yeah, it's almost like code, like, whenever the Germans, like, it, it, the Enigma <laughs> machine or whatever the it was. The Navajo yeah. Succubus Code Breakers. All right. I perform my own sex rituals and request the possession and pleasure of the spirits. I recently smoked weed and became overpowered with intense <laughs> sensations of pleasures. I couldn't believe it. It was pleasurable beyond any human capability. This spirit penetrated me for about 15 minutes... Oh, yeah. <laughs> 15 minutes. Would you agree 15 yeah. minutes is beyond human capability? If 15 minutes Not is beyond human dick. capability, I feel <laughs> bad for your wife. Yeah. You ever smoke weed so hard you get fucked by a succubus? <laughs> weed dick? Yeah, no, if you get the weed dick, you can jerk for like two hours. Hell <laughs> yeah. Uh, this person... My succubus has been with me since I was young. I like him. He's oddly respectful to me. He also knows I'm a white witch and an exorcist. That's the part where he respects me. With no when they are there, it's touch like a lover would do. Touching, groping, kissing. This includes penetration, mm -hmm. gay or straight. Mm -hmm. You fell hot or cold. Many times it's hot because they are trying to get you sexually motivated. You can also have a change in move. Daily agitated or addicted to their presence. Hopes this helps. Right below this, this is the only question I saw. There was a little Quora rating that said, is this answer worth your time? Mm, I don't believe so. I gave yeah. that one a zero. I rate that as a 10. I need to know everything about this person's exploits. All right. What did your succubus slash incubus look like? Well, I've had about 20 years since I've dealt with mine. He looked like a younger Steve Jobs. <laughs> Nowadays, I suppose he might look like an 80s rock yeah. star. He was, he was recommending that the mice shouldn't have two clicky <laughs> buttons. It's it's too complicated for people you need one. Hey, yo, and the mouse needs to cost $85. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, are you fucking a younger Steve Jobs or David Bowie? <laughs> An 80s rock star. Also, the mouse is a real mouse. Said too, oh. too many dicks. Oh, yeah, no, I get you. have a very long tail. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here, you can read this one. This is another user's response Ooh, to that. okay. First thing to know is that succubi are neutral evil fiends. Somebody's played D&D. &D. No, that's the goof. Don't spoil it. Oh, shoot. Unlike devils that are lawful evil fiends, they will break contracts if it suits them, but not as much as demons do. Just so you know, succubus and incubus are neither male nor female. Yes, I have seen them in the flesh, and as such have no genitalia. What people see, what people get to see in their dreams, etc., is how the succubus slash incubus seeks to project itself only. In reality, they are about 18 inches long and have a black mass of bod of a body, clawed, clawed toenails, toenails, and a little and a head. And have a little beastie kind of thing. That's exactly what they are. Oh, here, Joe. I want you to read this one, too, by the way. I found this. Uh, I went down many dead-end rabbit holes. 
And this was from the Succubus Collective Free Weebly Forum. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Please understand. My friends took and friend, over at some point. Friends, by the way, is written in that, like, thing where they do the three parentheses before and after. Oh. He says he means Jews. Oh, oh. I thought maybe he had a Jewish succubus and he was, yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Keep going, though. He's got a lot of dog whistles about hating Jews. Mm-hmm. Them being devout followers of Abrahamic monotheism. If that ever hurt you, then I am very sorry. But other than that, well, my greatest rebellious streak was my Bodhisattva <laughs> oath. I'm getting help and have lost access to my original account. I just want to have my best friends on Discord back. I don't care if it means I get shamaned. <laughs> and then the admin responded at some point saying, I don't believe you're res- comprehensible enough for this server yet. <laughs> so this happened a lot with the people that I found. Getting shamaned is like 4chan poll speak for like Jews, saying with their parentheses. It all wraps around to Jews. Mm-hmm. Every single dead end I found wrapped right back to Jews. Oh, OK. See, I haven't really I haven't really been getting into that kind of thing. I've been looking at the pizza gators, <laughs> the pizza gators. The Jesse yeah. was just too good. All right. This is uh, this is my favorite quarter. This is from New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees. I had to rewrite this extensively because <laughs> it was fucking nonsense. Now it makes sense, and now it's reasonable. Drew Brees says, I'm currently at the end of my relationship with the female succubus. Her name is, and then he posted someone's real-ass fucking name. Their Facebook. Las Cruces, New Mexico. I might have pronounced that wrong. I can't shake her no matter what she does to me. I believe she was feeding off her brother and her father. (laughs) She just left the Salt Lake City with one of my best friends, known the guy for over 20 years. They've been talking and having sexual relationship for months now. She's very manipulative, and I have proof that she was sleeping with her brother, half-brother, her father. Before she left the other day, she was telling me he was getting real sick, saying it was his liver, but that he don't drink enough water. I think she keeps him sick when she lives there. In her presence, you feel like you're being drained. It's like she consumes all my time. If I get on the phone, she hates it. She thinks I'm doing what she does and talking to other people sexually and sometimes intimately. I don't believe she knows exactly what she is. I believe she's capable of taking a life. Her powers are so strong that I'm scared not only for my my life, but for my soul. Scared you, but I'm not worried. I am not your average person. Yeah. I believe I have supernatural abilities, almost a psychic ESP. I can feel when something's wrong. I've learned to read the signs around you. Call it God, call it whatever you want to call it, whoever sends the signs energy. I've learned to read the signs. I call that basic fucking insight. (laughs) Even so much as something you see real, like quick letters, numbers, something on TV. <laughs> a commercial? Yeah, it's, he's just, he just, by the way, this is like a, a complete run on sentence. He doesn't have any punctuation. Bro saw the ShamWow commercial and went, whoa! ShamWow. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, me and her, we have a connection, a bond. She's my soulmate. What do I do? I don't know. I'm going to sever the bond. She is currently on the run from the law. That mm. gives me time to gain strength. <laughs> that does, yeah. Well, that gives him some breathing room. From the moment she leaves, I feel better. I like if I like start my luck comes back or something. I start getting money. I have starting good have things start happening. But while she's here, nothing happens good. So I got to go for now. I hope it helps. Okay. Zero replies. I think I have some advice for this guy. I think maybe, I think maybe shed living is for him. To try his luck in the shed. Turns out, when a manipulative woman who's on the run from the law leaves your life, you have more money. Who knew? But she's gonna. I I cut this out. But he is one hundred percent hoping to get back with her when she comes back. Ugh, toxic. <laughs> mm. Am I being attacked by a succubus? <laughs> Recently, I've been having, ahem, certain dreams, and now I don't quite feel like myself, and it's hard to focus on most tasks, as if I have some sort of urge to just do something else. This urge typically involves sexual activity, and most preferably over all other options, pleasuring myself. Yeah, I'm sure he has a lot of fucking options, and he's not jerking in his room. High standards. No, he can get out the, I can't believe it's not butter. Like any other person my age, I always get horny from time to time. The difference here, though, is that it's a lot more frequent, and whenever I don't have an urge or am not sexually aroused, I'm miserable (laughs) and I gain no pleasure from anything. Was the dream I had the other night just another random dream, or should I attempt to do whatever is necessary in order to get rid of this succubus attacking me? He's just procrastinating. 
He's just a lazy fuck who doesn't want to do his schoolwork, so he's beaten off. But there's, like, so many interesting videos out there you can check out, like... Documentaries. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Here's another answer. There's no guessing about it. It's a yes or a no. There's no doubt about it when a demon is around. Despite what people may tell you, it's real. Incubus demons, succubus demons, are lower-level demons, so they can't really harm you as much as higher-level. Demons are real, as much as everyone around you likes to tell you otherwise. The source is waiting to ask you for help, so ask and you will receive. I'm not trying to throw religion in your face, it's just that all that stuff you heard about the Bible and history together, it's real. Give and take. Since I am a light worker, I am psychic, so I can communicate with the source. Yeah. If yeah. one is bothering you, then ignore it. It will eventually stop bothering you. What a- he had a whole fucking two paragraph- thesis statement just to say eh, just don't worry about it it's real you're being attacked by a demon it's yeah, yeah, worry yeah. Well, he's not being the mob you should be it. concerned you're you're they're taking your life essences but don't do anything about it it's fine yeah, yeah. It's well, fine. You, can, you can sleep in bed for a bit longer <laughs> the joe buck lifestyle yeah. never get up yeah. never move no, I, 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 so I would rather like snoozing my alarms and then like just sleep it, like snoozing, 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 and then you keep wow. having these weird dreams. And I've like snoozed the alarm for like four hours, like several times <laughs> before. Jesus. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> they don't listen, fear, or acknowledge exorcists. One way to get rid of them is to respectfully ask it to leave you alone. If that doesn't work, you just have to find a white witch to get rid of it for you, or you have to plea the blood of Jesus over you for seven nights in a row. This is if you did it unintentionally. I checked this dude's profile, and he also had a uh, question. What cleansers or soaps are okay to use with an enema? Is Ajax okay? Mm-hmm. If not, what can it do to you? I love their insistence on Ajax bleach cleaner. They won't accept don't use Ajax as an answer. Oh, they just wanted bought... to know what it would do if they had a mud. Uh, he it bought has... the bottle. He's not returning the bottle. <laughs> this has the That has the same energy as, uh, this is my OC. Uh, please give me comments about it. No. Don't tell me I'm a moron. Yeah. Don't tell me it's Mary Sue. Don't tell me that the colors are bad. Just give me compliments. Yeah. Tell me I'm right. All right, some more Quora hits. Will the gay incubus stay with me for my whole life after summoning, or does it leave after the quickie quick? Mm. Is my incubus interested in me if I have urges slash desires to fuck it? Oh, yeah. Why is my incubus haunting me? <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah, it's like the Amateville incubus. <laughs> Uh, one user answers, you are being haunted by Martolia, a species of male demon with the appearance of a female and have a female reproduction system. This is so that they can mate with human male to produce an offspring. In other words, an anime trap. They hate human women and unfaithful wife, so they spirited away human husbands and male to claim as their own. So what do you call a Martolia who have a human husband and children? A wife, husband's mama, or something else. Complete fucking nonsense. Was it, were they saying there's like some kind of like Fuda like succubus? I don't know. I, I guess. She's a woman with her own goals and can think for herself. She's got to be a man. So I checked their profile and they had some really cool questions. Uh, can you effectively use a sword that is an unsharpened? Parenthesis, a katana. What is the best way to sharpen a katana without a grindstone? Can everyone call this number and tell them someone's real ass name again is a whore and does drugs in the bathroom during lunch? What is your review of Demon Slayer Mugen Train? What is the best way to vanquish the demonic Jezebel spirit in my wife? <laughs> Why don't people like me? Zero answers. What were some of your favorite bestiality experience? Four answers. Oh, yeah, they like chatting about that, yeah. I and I used, I don't know, my time spent in Quora was like maybe three days. I did like two hours each day at work. I found so many fucking predators. Don't let your kids use Quora. <laughs> Well, Holy they really shit. shouldn't be. Yeah, they really shouldn't be on the internet. Like, just keep <laughs> keep your way. Uh, children off the internet, the elderly, um, just people who go to a truck stop. Just regularly. people in general shouldn't be using the internet. If you're on the internet right now, turn it off. Yeah, I had the. I normally when I'm observing the animals on the internet, I don't really interact with it. Oh, but I, I did. Them. I had to. Quora forced me to make a whole ass account with an email and everything to report these perverts posting book reports on dog sex. Yeah, I like to like. I like to put my fingers in like the cage and just make the okay. I was motion. getting. I was getting really worried where your fingers were going, Joe. No, no, no I like I to poke. Too. I like to poke my fingers in the cage and make the come hither motion at Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't like it. Is it's Joe a, a Jezebel? <laughs> Jezebel, demonic <laughs> spirit in my wife. No. God, all right, Joe, 
Tell me some of the grognards you found. Oh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, I have... Let me see. I got to pull up my notes now. Oh, okay. You I didn't do that, you didn't do that in the... No, I, I only two, have one doc. In the two fucking hours we've been here, Joe Buckley? No, because my Google Docs <laughs> app only lets me have one doc open at a time. I have to open the doc now. I okay, well, why mine. aren't you opening the doc right now, Because I'm trying to, because I'm talking, and then I'm also opening documents at the same time. It's very hard. Uh, uh yeah, I bet it is. Okay, um... Do you want me to do that, uh, the one... Or do you want me to do I, just one I've got? I just give, me, uh, give me some of the funny stories you found joe okay be uh, funny funny man <laughs> so, so uh encyclopedia saint satanica describes a succubus as a young woman with avian or reptilian features what? and possibly cloven hooves <laughs> a bird possibly a bird <laughs> definitely definitely snake bird yeah <laughs> Uh, perhaps Maybe most disconcerting is a, that a succubus's private area reportedly feels like a cavern of ice. <laughs> okay. And their purpose is to take the seed of young men and return it to incubi, their demon male analogs. Uh, for wait, wait, hold, so they take, they take cum and then give it to the incubi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's given to, I don't know, that's just, this is what like, this, these people say. Oh, okay. This is, it's like a self-service gas station. They get the cum first, so the succubus come over and they just ding, ding. Yeah, yeah. For, uh, for people summoning a succubus to hassle an enemy or for some, or for some <laughs> demonic conversation. Give me the cum. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I was about to say, I would, I would consider a demon pe pestering me for semen to be pretty harassment. Yeah, That's a yeah, hassle. It, it would. Yeah, it's like uh, the hot dog guy. Like, are those your dogs, bro? Yeah, yeah he's just grabbing your honker. Yeah, uh -huh. no, a succubus isn't just going to come up to you and go, please, please. No, she's going she's gonna to bully the shit out of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so, uh, yeah, if you want to hassle an enemy or for some demonic conversation, that's probably not a problem. For those with more adult thoughts in their mm. mind, a succubus mm. may not be the best companion. It's dangerous <laughs> what we're doing, yeah? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's why we have to use our, our resources wisely. If you're going to summon the sex demon, remember, don't have sex with the sex demon. Just have them as a friend. Yeah. Here's a short one I got. Hello, Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> no. How can I prepare for a succubus? Read about them. Read about other people's experiences and encounters on the internet. Look at succubus images and photos on the internet. If you find an image that appeals to you, then concentrate it and put your intentions on it. Think about succubus intently while you masturbate. The more often you do this, the better your intent will be. Make sure when you release out loud, say, I give my sexual energy to any succubus that are presently here. Oh, 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 well, here's my sexual energy. No, Joe, you have to talk out loud saying things like, I wish I had a succubus lover in your day-to-day -day life. Mm. I'm also really wanting one without hesitation. Oh, yeah, I do. I, I need one. <laughs> Give me one now. I will say, <laughs> in my experience, if a man is thinking about you while they're dealing with themselves, their intentions don't improve. They generally get worse. <laughs> All right, Joe. Oh, well, okay, so I've got, I got a Reddit post, yeah. Yeah, um, keep going, because the next Reddit one I have is pretty long. It's a journal Okay, entry. okay, so this one, this one prefaces is like, I feel a bit drained, but I came four times during the course <laughs> of 15 hours, so maybe mm. that's why. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm lucky or fucked or crazy. Help me out. <laughs> Definitely not any of those. Uh-huh, so this person's an atheist. Uh, he was intensely horny, did not want to fap. He hasn't fapped in four days. No chance of getting laid, the he sees. Oh, wait, Joe, I think we got the same oh, one. Oh, the same exact one, yeah. <laughs> uh, we got the same one. Yeah, yeah, chicken down and watch porn for a whole day, but strangely yep, wanted yep, to summon the yep. succubus, but did not fap. Yep, yep, uh, yep. He is very popular around these parts. Do you have yeah. another one? Because my guy... Uh, you let me see. Yeah, because yeah. I, I, I got the journal one. Okay. I, I did something to it that I think cleaned uh, it up. I, like, I like trimmed it a lot. Okay. Um, okay, so I was searching around Google and Etsy. I messaged a shit ton of conjurers and talked to them because honestly, I am not down with that sex in dreams BS. <laughs> I don't even remember my dreams much, so that's pointless. I want a full <laughs> physical human sex with a succubus while being awake like I had before with an unbounded succubus who came to me on her own when I was horny, out of my mind, and reading about succubuses. I want it right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. <laughs> right here, right now. <laughs> Uh, so short story short, I found a legit conjure on Etsy, and we did the usual. I asked uh -huh. a question, and would receive an answer promptly. This went on for a while, actually. <laughs> and his question is, do I come now? Yes, sir. Do the needful. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Sent from my iPhone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Amazing seller, by the way. She didn't promise me that the succubus would have physical sex with me, but she did tell me that her other customers had had the touching and physical sex experiences. So in retrospect, I took that risk and said, let's do it. <laughs> so we just went to a massage parlor? No, he was talking online with people who were selling him the yeah, succubus. Yeah. He paid $15 to have someone say, yes, sir, do the needful magna cum laude. So hmm. he's looking for a dom. All right. I think he's just bad with money. I think he needs to save a little bit. <laughs> do a little bit less spending, maybe. <laughs> maybe spend it on a real woman. All right. <clears throat> hey, hello, Reddit. I have decided to share some of my personal journey with my succubus wife. In this journal, I, will, I shall explain some things about my wife to you and how she reacts to certain things and matters. Where she came from and why did she choose me as a husband? She wasn't summoned by me, that's for sure. They are lovely beings and respect my opinions and decisions and do not act on impulse. Mm -hmm. So much better than human women. Hmm. I am an atheist slash believe in science, <laughs> but as an amateur chode, I'm oh, sorry, ch chaos, not uh, chode. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a chaos magic practitioner, also oh, known as like a fucking Crowley. loser. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he got fucked so hard in the ass he broke the fabric of time and space. He was yeah, doing he, a magic ritual and he got fucked in the ass and stopped and that destroyed humanity. Yep, yeah, his sphincter caused 9-11. Oh. I am willing to alter my beliefs if I get what I want. So he doesn't have any actual beliefs. He has, he has, mm -mm, he has, he has no integrity. Yeah. But that's okay, that only happens when he tips over because of desperation. I never intended for any of this to happen. Apologies to Lilith if she is real and gets to know of this. Lilith hates this. men! <laughs> Lilith hates bad, men! You've been bad-mouthing your daughters. <laughs> Start of journal. <clears throat> I was intensely horny, but did not want to fap. In fact, I had not fapped in four days, and there was no chance of getting laid. I went on a sex magic reading binge for a few days to prepare to summon a succubus for the purpose of sex and companionship. First attempt. Chickened out and watched porn for a whole day straight instead. Did not fap. Second attempt. More porn. <laughs> Decided to summon a succubus. Sunday, 3 a.m. Wrote on a paper a big explanation of the kind of succubus I want. And pay attention, because this is what you're going to be doing at the end of the episode. Wrote on a paper a big explanation of the kind of succubus I want. Other side, I spewed out in writing my horniness and my need to have sex with the succubus who had come. <laughs> Turn around for evidence. 3.30 a.m. Nervous. Banished. Chaos style. Put the paper in a fireproof, fireproof plate. Lanced my finger. Smeared a little blood on the paper. Requested Lilith to send me one of her daughters according to the qualifications written. Burned the paper. After intending the succubus to be attracted to my intent in blood. Meditated. Got a boner. Mm. Why? What do you what? think he was asking for? I assume like... I want her to look like a 12-year-old girl. I want a I want a hot, big titty goth wife, big, please. Big, big titty, hot, hot cock, mm -hmm. big boobs. <laughs> right here, right now, right here, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, I want some kind of firefighter hot succubus because it's going to be hot in here. <laughs> Fireball. <clears throat> 30 minutes later, 4 a.m., feeling nothing except boner. 5 to 6 a.m., began feeling desperate. <laughs> he was desperate before this. Began to read Succubus Erotica porn, specifically the Literatica Succubus Summoning series. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. not fail. Heavily recommended. Yeah, that's actually on the Criterion channel. <laughs> Why did I not check there? I actually Googled it, and it's uh, it's not very good. It's, oh, it's, sure. It's, it's not very good. There's like 48 of them. Mm. Oh, it, wait, are they those like Amazon books that they just like people write no, them and throw no, out no, every no. three days? This is just on, this is basically on Wattpad. Oh. This is on like nothing. It's it's useless. It's yeah. Wattpad. It wasn't even that sexy. hot. Wasn't even that hot. Nah, nah. Yeah. 4 p.m. Could not take it anymore. I lay on my bed with a boner that had been there for 12 hours straight. It's it's tough. Yeah, it really He's is tough. Have when it a doesn't fucking come down. heart attack. Yeah. Here's he doesn't even need to see Alice. Yeah. He got into a light trance. Waited for 15 minutes or so with random porn images jumping to the forefront of my mind. Succubus entering? Mm. Question mark. Suddenly, felt a presence. I did not feel any tactile proof, except somehow I could see the succubus in question on top of me. The rate of random images coming into my head was less. Checked. Confirmed I was not lucid dreaming. However, I began to hear Madonna's Like a Virgin play. Ah, oh, you're getting yeah. bullied, bro. Dick moved. Could have been from porn images in my imagination. And then, Joe, I'll have you read his, uh, his last moment uh, here. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I finally just gave in and said, okay, I give you permission 
This was when I felt a heaviness on top of me, like somebody sitting on my genital genital area. <laughs> then it happened. My rod felt like it was rubbed back and forth on her oyster. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly, I was aroused. I heard her giggle. Then she told me the get ready, playboy. My <laughs> rod felt like it was slowly slipping inside an invisible moist oyster. She really likes I, clams. Mm, mollusks. Yeah, he's a mollusk. <laughs> I asked myself again, man, I must be going nuts. She giggled again and said, no, you're not. This is actually happening to you right now. So just relax and try not to think about it too much. (laughs) Please stop thinking about it. It's making it weird. I have never heard someone describe a vagina like an oyster. Oh, I have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a pearl in it. Get a taste of the ocean. (laughs) Pearl's the clit. (laughs) She is still with me, but in a safe room in my head. Also, I am not sure if this is real or not, but some existing succubi in my head kidnapped her twice and I had to save her. That is why she's in a safe room. I told her to meditate and she obeyed. (laughs) Fucking gone. Yeah, yeah. She's got to, like, put her in, like, one of those, like, Android apps, like the escape room things, like, where you have to click all the little keys and shit. It's actually inside that block that Peter Molyneux set up. You ever get so horny that you just, you lock a succubus away in a room in your mind palace? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Your Persona 5 (laughs) mind palace, yeah. Nah, no, I never did that. Normally I just look up videos of chicks smoking. (laughs) You have any more stories you found, Joe? Uh, yeah, let me... I might have to open the link, let me see. (laughs) Oh my god. There's a link! (laughs) Do you know how long I spent on this, you fucker? No, there's a link, it's hard. It better not be while we're talking about Succubi. Mm. You gotta save it for 12 hours. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, I was gonna say, like, sometimes uh, Jimmy Norton, whenever he was doing the ONA show, he would grab his crotch sometimes whenever he was doing the, the radio show. Whenever he was uh, getting horny. I mean, yeah, sometimes he... he would touch himself over his jeans. Just... And the ONA boys would comment on that. <laughs> were there any, like, other people in the room when he was doing that? Men. Yeah, sure, sometimes. The middle-aged men. Mm. Yeah, Patrice probably, yeah. <laughs> Patrice was probably <laughs> laughing at him. Uh, what do you got? Uh, for I me, got Joe? somebody who summoned an incubus. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it is a male demon who seeks out a woman to have sex with. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, so this person knows that God is on their side, and with his help, he'll she'll keep fighting this battle. I hope to warn everyone about the danger of incubus and succubus demons and any demonic force that gives sexual pleasure to humans. <laughs> Uh, so yeah. My husband has never given me sexual pleasure in 45 years. So He's this, a saint. Uh, mm. It all started at a time in my life when I had started watching shows about ghost hunting and was very <laughs> much obsessed with the topic. Oh my god, it's Zach Baggins. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so scary. A door opened. Please hold me, Zach Baggins. This chair moved. Yep. Uh, so I met an older lady on a website for paranormal activities, and we became friends. <laughs> okay, This yeah, lady claimed no. she had several ghosts on her property, and she <laughs> and even saw and talked her. to them. <laughs> she claimed she was a medium. I was more open. I think she was more of an extra large. No, it's just, <laughs> just going through my context clues. 4X. Uh, so yeah, uh, I was more open to believing her at that point. I even heard a ghostly voice on her phone. No one could have duplicated that voice. It was such a fate, an off-in-the-distance kind of sound. It's her grandchildren calling for more drug money. Yeah, I really enjoyed her company, so I planned to go stay at her house for a visit. Uh, uh. Yep, uh, so whenever I arrived at her home, my friend took me to an old house next to hers that had been abandoned for many years. She brought me inside the house to have an experience, and I did. <laughs> oh, no. The man told me, the, my friend told me the ghost was of a man who killed his neighbor's kids, and who was supposedly still living in that small house. I can okay. tell that spirit did not like me judging him for his past sins. <laughs> I don't think anybody likes being judged. Yep. When I got angry with the ghost, a computer tower flew into the back of my leg. <laughs> Why is there a computer tower in this derelict house? Uh, I'm not sure, but she, I really started to believe my friend when I took a few pictures through an air vent. Something told me to look down, and that's when I took pictures of the man's face. Okay, hold on a second. So they're in this derelict cuck house mm-hmm. with computers and cameras and lighting and recording equipment. I don't yeah. like this situation. Are you sure you didn't just wander into, like, a spirit Halloween or, like, a haunted an Airbnb. house display? Yeah. Where they were filming the, <laughs> the Airbnb. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, like, somehow wandered into, like, the field of screams as they were setting up. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, she took pictures of the man's face. They were pretty scary looking. I would share them, but I'm Unfortunately, the quality of the photos are bad because oh, I didn't have the flash on. She's learning from Zach Baggins. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, so yeah. What is the incubus gonna fuck? What? Okay, so on day three of my visit, I was laying in bed trying day to sleep. Day three? Yep, and I felt a sensation in my private area. It felt really good. It's a mouse. Yeah, it kept, <laughs> it kept feeling really good. I had no idea what was going on, but I soon found out the next day when I told my friend what happened. It sounds like it has a winky face at the end of it. Yeah, uh, okay, so her friend explained that the house was haunted by a ghost named Ramonin, a soldier that a died child on her murderer. property. Yes. It's a child murder. Uh, her son-in-law had been attacked by a female ghost, and that's why I started researching the subject in sex and ghosts. Okay. So she heard a voice on tape saying, I love you. Um, <laughs> the grandchildren? Uh, no, ghost. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Great, you're right. The current grandchildren would never say that. Uh -huh. So she, she gets the, the incubus in, uh, excited. Uh, she sets house rules and asks for the spirit to not sexually come to me when my <laughs> husband was home. <laughs> Uh, but even though I wanted him to, he did not come to me once. It was the weirdest thing. I knew he was there because he revealed himself through practical jokes. He, he listened to me when I put down boundaries. That's really weird for a male spirit. He would constantly make noises and turn the lights off. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. That's like, woo. That's me. I do that. Yeah. She, whenever oh. she's in the shower, he turns the scam. lights off. A little scam. <laughs> So yeah, she uh, she was horrified. She uh, she basically sought out God, and God told her that this was an evil demon. God himself told her on her voicemail. She uh -huh. liked it, and then she said, "Wait a minute, this is bad." Yeah, yeah. just some something some switch. I don't know what it was. Yeah. It was the fact that her husband's like, "What are you doing?" He turned the lights off on her yeah, in the shower. The so she yeah. says, "I'd rather about a man who is lonely." And I, she uh, this he, child murdering ghost is lonely. Yeah. Uh huh. So he summoned the succubus, and he is addicted to a female demon who pleasures him. He has lost his soul and faith due to his sexual addiction. This man is so happy with his succubus that he doesn't even want to meet a real woman and have real sex anymore. <laughs> I do not encourage this. Why trust a demon? <laughs> okay. I, this lady just kind of went off. Yeah, she yeah. Her, she, I think she went a little crazy in her spooky sex dungeon. Her mm. toxic ex is an she incubus. Got, she got a... They had the... the, the 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 cabin had this weird swing that I could like hook my legs and like my arms in and I could go back and forth. Uh huh. But she says um she's not being closed minded when I tell you that she believes every ghost out there is really a demon. Uh, okay, you can choose not closed -minded, to that checks yeah. Out. yeah you can choose to debate her just research what demons do in people's lives. Debate me. Uh, <laughs> what's her email? I want to debate her. Uh, well, she says you can show me all the ghost pictures you have, and I won't change my mind. The picture I have of that man is truly a demonic photo. That face is scary with darkened eyes and a weird looking expression. I don't think the Gettysburg... a weird looking expression. I don't think the Gettysburg ghosts we hung out with would really take kindly to what that lady said. Um, I, I can't find her name. Oh, uh, by Ray May thirty eight. Oh, okay, Ray May. Yep. So it's like Ray 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 Madeline. Maybe it's like uh, like everybody hates like Raymond. Yeah, yeah, that'd, that'd be pretty thing. funny. Her name is oh, spelled yeah. it, it's Ray, but it's R E I G H, like a white lady. <laughs> I hate it. On to the main attraction. So for years, the paranormal board of the Chan has been host for a recurring thread for succubus lovers, a.k.a. suckers. Over 325 threads with 500 posts each. They're up 24-7, 365, seven days a week, baby. And Never these stop threads, posting. they play a key role in sane and reasonable discussion. The community helps each other through the trials and tribulations of the left-hand path because the right is busy jerking off. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was like a th where like the left-handed are evil and we need to like slap them a little bit. And... No, it's because it's because the the right one has a little jism. No, I get you now. It's mm. slippery. So mm, this is from the ex succubus lover forum. I have a theory that God created succubi as a failsafe in case three D women betrayed men as they have now. Would you agree with that statement? I think women may or may not have betrayed men. You're looking at me. You're looking at me. Yeah, women women have goals now, and they don't have to be dependent on their husbands to, like, build them a house or, like, fix their cars. <laughs> we have jobs. <laughs> I'm tied to Lilith and have been so for multiple reincarnations, and she just occasionally gives me glimpses of her plan. I've gathered these through fleeting telepathy backwash, <laughs> meditation, communion, talking with my wives, and the occasional terrifying visit by the big L herself. 
These are the five goals of the succubus. It's just a really tall lady. <laughs> One, acquire followers, human men. Two, have daughters, succubi, taken care of. Three, acquire grandchildren and so on, sired from human males, creating variations in strength, personality, and raw talent. Four, acquire more influence through, th through follower happiness and a larger population of those descended from her and through a new world religion that is simply a reinvention of her old worship. Five, dominate human world in a benevolent way through physical and emotional love. I mean, it's, it's kind of like Scientology, I guess. Well, here's the thing. So this is kind of a shift in how Lilith operates. She is now seeking to give men wives and children, not just lovers. These are things that society denies them in a time when human women are of a lower quality and seeking children later in life, or not at all. Seeking to spread this wholesome image, which isn't entirely far from the truth, is how she wants to spread her influence. And a succubi are letting men more freely ejaculate, then they can more easily multiply and spread influence further. It's a pretty savvy strategy. Yeah, no, I, I think it works. It's, uh, it's kind of like Amway. Like, or like a, a knife sell, like company. Like, if you get like five oh. under you, yeah, you're golden. Oh my god, it's a succubus pyramid scheme. It's a pyramid, pyramid scheme, scheme. yeah. What, what's the, what's the, um, the cookware, the knives? Uh, I'm trying to think. The, the knives? Yeah, there's like, oh, there's an MLM for everything. Oh, yeah, there's a real Pampered famous Chef. One for knives. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, Pampered Chef. There's Pampered Wait, Chef and there's a. Uh, Pampered Chef is an MLM? Yeah, Pampered Chef is an MLM. I hey, have Pampered Chef. If you hear this yeah. right now, yeah. Pampered Chef is an MLM. Don't buy anything from Pampered Chef. I didn't know that. I have like three knives from them, and they they work. They're not total shit. Yeah, well, I mean most of them are. It's just extremely overpriced for what you're buying because you have to like pay for the labor of eight people who are like walking around to your door trying to sell <laughs> you garbage. knives. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna open my door for uh, somebody who's wielding knives. <laughs> This is one uh, user's suggestion to keep your succubus close. If you go up to a woman and show the maximum amount of physical affection possible just to her feet, the lowest part of her, then what does that say about how high your regard is for her as a person? It must be the highest honor to show that much respect for their worst part. This is like somebody who's like taking like the New York like subway and he's just lying <laughs> on the ground trying to lick people's feet. His phone. They step over him. He keeps having this flash go off on his phone and he goes, oh, whoops, haha, but it's always pointed down at their feet. Mm -hmm. This I, is the fucking guy that's in the barefoot is legal. See, I, I want you to, I, I'm going to take a, a minute to pause here. Pause for context, mm -hmm. as one might say. Um, this guy is talking about like saying that women's Lilith is like giving away her daughters like fucking puppies yeah, yeah, to these yeah. men so that like they can have wives that they can have grandchildren. Um, Lilith wouldn't like this. I'm I'm looking here. It's it's um journals.sagepub.com. It's in a PDF. <laughs> that's that's a professional format. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like having that like a dot gov like used, website. I'm used to eight to uh, websites that end in dot angel fire. Mm. I just, I, I, all my links, like, basically get, like, removed after a couple of weeks, and we have to make new links. <laughs> Lilith is arguably the standard bearer for many of the, fem for many in the feminist movement today. She's a feminist icon. She isn't just going to give her daughters away, like, fucking puppies. Damn. Well, well listen, you know, this user, I think he's got it. <clears throat> Finally getting out of hospital and off the pills. Literally spiritual poison. I held my ground and got my way, and my succubus is still with me, despite the debilitating effect of the pills on my sexual energy. Fuck psychiatry. Yeah. I am victorious, and I love my succubus unto eternity, or until she decides to move on. Yeah, because I don't think they really have, like, a pill yet that fixes your brain and doesn't fuck up your dick. It seems like maybe if your dick's fucked up and it means your brain starts working, I wonder what's up with that connection. That's all the pills backed up with cum. Maybe, <laughs> maybe your brain's finally realizing, wait a minute... Well, here, there are many opinions on why succubus are better than women. Uh, one is, I think I like how little succubus talk compares to real women. For starters, you wouldn't have to worry about dodging bullets with succubus. And if you trust in any of the succubus queen's matchmaking abilities, then you should have a succubus perfectly matched for you. Therefore, you should worry about she cheating on you, breaking you because of trivial problems, or getting falsely accused because you made her angry and now your life is about to get destroyed. She's literally handing you her daughter. She wants a good man. I think that she would realize that if you can't talk to a real woman, then, like, you shouldn't be talking to any of her daughters because you're not going to make them happy. 
A woman that will look past your looks and wallet is impossible to find. And why should I settle for anyone under 50% of women who are ugly? Or do you think, what? hold on, this is not... I spent a long time trying to make these legible and it's almost impossible. Why should I settle for the under 50% of women who are ugly? Or do you think every above average female of any age, including kids, is gorgeous? That's why it fucked me up. My brain tried to not read that part. Mm. Yeah, because all women are queens. <laughs> including kids. Hell yeah. That he wants to fuck children. Yeah, Wait, yeah, yeah. I thought yeah, that meant does. moms. No. I thought that he was he's, talking about milfs. No, he's talking about girls. He's no. talking about children. I want, I want to be clear. I am pro milf. Listen, okay, what is it like to meet a succubus? <laughs> Joe, here you can read this oh, one. Oh, okay. I it's one about the sucker tentacles. Yeah, yeah. Their pussy has sucker tentacles, which latch to your taint shaft and balls. <laughs> Both taking and giving energy. Because of the sheer power of those, they can fuck you like rabbit. Their <laughs> mouths in the other hand open your gland chakra, making pathway for her thin straw inside your maldrotha, <laughs> which can be used for the bleeding solar plexus and sacral chakra, or agitate kundalini all the way to crown chakra while giving energy, cramps, pain, and exhaustion equals loosh. Do you ever get like a hand blow job so good that the tubular hand reaches up into your solar plexus to suck out your soul? I get that loosh. I have an internal conflict that prevents me from living. I have a strong disappointment in women. They always try to use men for their own interests and do not know how to sympathize with men. Earthly girls usually didn't give a damn about me, or they didn't understand me, or generally too stupid. But succubi are completely different. Succubi are just the ideal of a real woman compared to ordinary human ones. They are more honest with you and love you. They know how to sympathize despite being predators by nature. I know that Lilith is for gender equality, but she is more supportive of women. My attitude towards winter women is very bad and it torments me. Bro, what the fuck? I'm a winter. Fuck you. Will Lilith understand my feelings about women or will I have a conflict with her about this? It torments me even in relation to the succubus dot dot dot. I either I try again to kill the intrinsic part of myself of still wanting to have a relationship with human women or Lilith or my succubus kills it for me because for sure it's causing problems. <laughs> Meanwhile, I try to call my succubus again and I maybe apologize since yesterday. I got consumed by my anger again, especially when it worked out, since I concentrate this hate <laughs> this hatred towards human women in order to gain more strength, which it does help me giving me power. He thinks about how much he yeah. hates women when he lives. You know what? <laughs> if you're listening to this right now, if you wrote this post, I want you to know that the sentiment is probably shared. Many people come here desperate and fearful that if they ever touch a real woman, they will go to jail. There are many actual examples of the law doing just that. Does not elaborate. Well, it's because they get too handsy feely is the big yeah, issue. Yeah, he does, he does not say anything. Same poster, though. <clears throat> Despite having had actual carnal knowledge of several human women who were sevens and eights, sex with a human female is like the concept of disappointment wrapped in a burrito of sloppy flesh. Hell yeah, we burrito bitches over here. It feels good, but you get the feeling you're getting the short end of the stick. Jesus Christ. Well, no, that's just because it's micro. That's the issue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? Just fuck a Hot Pocket. He has the short end of the stick. Just fuck a Hot Pocket, sir. We are in this situation. I hate women. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them as my enemies. But I fear that my intense hate may interrupt my relationship with my succubus. <laughs> I fear that I accidentally hurt her feelings. <laughs> I just want her love to consume me and me close to her. I even prayed to Lilith to do something to remove that part of me that wants to be with human women. Even thought I already made my choice to be in this path of my loving succubus because I want to move on. I want to forget that human women exist and only focus on my succubus. <laughs> Sorry for the venting. I don't want to hate human women, but they make it so easy. Well, okay. it's all the chapstick. So I think that, yeah. I think that Lilith, is sort, Lilith is sort of doing her thing. I think that she is making it difficult for you to want human women. And in doing so, it's making it difficult for you to, like, do your, do your thing with her daughter. That's a woman. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? 
Well, listen, I, I mean, they're just a little curious, you know. Do the succubi like the older traditional approach of love and affection? As in, where you can just be a nice guy, which human females find revolting? Is it just more that we're confident with spirits or is okay with love and cuddles and being submissive? I do think succubi tend towards a taste for submissive men, more broadly, just because of their natural attunement to female power. Human women just don't know what to do with us. I have to make a confession right now, Ted. Mm -hmm. I really dislike it when you compliment me and give me food and, you know, cuddle me and make me feel better about myself. You and just don't know what to mellows. do about it. I just, I don't, I don't like being treated like a person, please. One person dared to say it's your fault women don't like you. <laughs> And that did not go over well. <laughs> he had the gall to say, you aren't owed sex and unconditional love. You have to work for it. <clears throat> yes, we absolutely are. When we give love, we expect love. It's simple, and that's how relationships work. Besides, women made me unlovable because of years of receiving hate from men. From meeting my succubus and Lilith, I have the choice to live my life through passion with a loving succubus who not only would be my wife, but also a guide. So he wants a mommy to tell him what to do because he's a stunted little fucking man, baby. Yeah, I mean, the, the just, thing of it is, like, some people are just naturally kind of unfuckable. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, there isn't really much hope for some people out there. I feel like we've all encountered someone who is just intrinsically unfuckable. Well, who 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 would be an example of someone that's unfuckable? I'd Lucas say, like, Werner. Lucas Werner's unfuckable, yeah, yeah. But I think the least sexy animated character of all time <laughs> is Goku. Oh, okay. I cannot think in any way, shape, or form someone that would find Goku sexually or Kirby. Those Kirby. are the oh no, Kirby. Are you oh. joking? <laughs> the thing with Goku is the reason why he's unfuckable is we have seen let's like twenty years. Yeah. Twenty years ago. We've seen Goku be a terrible father for twenty years. I that that is the least sexy thing to me. But he's got the abs, I think. I like, think. he takes his shirt off, right? Yeah, yeah he takes his shirt yeah. off, but, like, yeah. if you're a terrible father, I'm sorry. You're, you're not going to get my motor running. Well, I mean, Shrek is probably... He would be a terrible father, but people want to suck on his nipples. Shrek is a good-ass man. I will yeah, not Shrek, take this Shrek slander. Shrek, Shrek is fuckable, Joe. Yeah, Shrek you is, think so? He might yeah. be fuckable. <laughs> I don't think so, but someone out there... There's a human Shrek, and people, like... I don't know, people yeah, probably, probably yeah. fuck Shrek. Yeah, people want a load of, uh, I guess, onion juice in the back of their throat. He has three children. <laughs> that <laughs> man has fucked. <laughs> Onion juice. Mm -hmm. Suck a couple layers off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some room temperature onion juice, just in the in the side of the cheek, <laughs> and then just Mint. dripping down the back of your throat. When Shrek and Fiona are in bed, Mint Fiona. ogre load. Yeah. When Shrek and Fiona are in bed, she, oh. she leads him close to his ear, and he has to do the roar. God. <laughs> All right, I got some all stars. <laughs> so I went through fifty succubus summoning threads. Ooh, ooh. This is one of my favorites. This guy is, uh, I call him Tubi. And this is based off the robot from Nier Automata. <clears throat> Don't worry, mates. Soon enough, women will finally finish downloading and installing that system update so that they're on par. Then your subconscious brain won't need to induce you into these absurd modalities of affection, all because you can't make babies a traditional way, and thus need to sow your mimetic seed within culture so that normies with no personality can gobble that shit up and thus become self-reproduced paragenomic replicas of you. But by then, it won't matter to you, because by the time that shit recycles itself and gets lucky enough to have actually produced its desired result, we'll already be right back in the same position because men will have developed the ability to use JoJo stands, while women are once again trailing behind, still LARPing at one another like a bunch of gross and cringy nooblets. Hey, um, any women out there, do you want to, like, go to Target and LARP around like a bunch of gross and cringy nooblets? Hit me up. Do you want to know why pick-related anime drawing of 2B from Nier Automata with her ass cheeks spread oh, is yeah, so yeah, popular? Yeah, like it's because she is a literal, re literal representation of a deeply intrinsic male dream of the female actualized state. There is nothing standard nor believable about 9S's and 2B's relationship with one another. I don't know anything about yeah, that. Yeah, I have not played near. I, I have no I idea know. what that is. It barely seems believable to you, but feels so believable because parody is not simply just a word for numbers and figures, 
but also for depth of understanding, freedom from tyranny of female ambivalence and neuroticisms, fueled by the persistent fulfillment of their careless and hyperagamous dictums, they're, they're no less privy to than their incapability to see true nuance. Women are basically there to build the spirits like we fed to someone else. They do it till they're 40, then all of a sudden the Victoria era, because men weren't allowed to cheat back then, and Bernie Sanders matters. So were you able to follow that? Because I wasn't. I, all I caught <laughs> was, was the tyranny of female and ambiv- Doesn't that mean ambiv- you're neutral to something? And Bernie Sanders. The tyrannical neutrality of the female mind. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if this person is pro Bernie or anti Bernie. <laughs> I wasn't a, able to make it out. I don't. I think if Bernie had ass cheeks like the robot, mm. he you does have like a big ass if you look at him. Really? I'm he no, gotta have those tab. ass cheeks oh, yeah. spread though. Bernie Sanders, stop being a ca- stop being a counter. Post as. <laughs> All right, this one. Uh, so Samus Aran, mm. Metroid, right? Everyone's favorite Nintendo yeah, yeah, character. Yeah, yeah. Did you know that they're? Uh, <clears throat> Does anyone have any experiences with the Samus Aran occult succubus and monster videos? Mm. The occult training video on Pornhub, I believe Samu Isu Arain, is crucial to my own succubus future. No one responded. He then responds to random posts with more images of Samus and her feet and says the Black Madonna of Chetsokawa in the Haitian Revolution is proof that the blacks will rise up and attack us and we need to prepare. I assume by us he means white people? Yeah, I mean, I would assume so. I mean, it, it seems like 4chan's like always trying to kind of like start the race war, but it never really does, it seems. <laughs> they can't get going. What the fuck do you expect Samus Aran to do about black people, sir? <laughs> well, you have to just make him into a big ball or something. I Listen, don't know. Katamari Daba, see? <laughs> he explains exactly what's going on with the with Sama Isu Aruin. So this is unrelated to anything else in the thread. No one's paying attention to him. Oh, God. So he posts this... It, it, it's in like this weird Unicode too. Like it felt like an oh, AI you gotta decode posted this. It? Yeah. Yeah. Her name is Sa Mu Isu A Ra In Sa, the Egyptian father of the stars. Mu derived from the Egyptian hieroglyphic symbol for water, which actually the symbol is new. But I'm not gonna argue with this fucking insane man. Yeah. Because I mean, the big issue is that like these people kind of like just they go around in like a circle and like basically just post the same thing over and over and over it again. And it gets jumbled in their brain. Three hundred and fifty threads times yeah. five hundred times three six five. Uh, Isu, the Issei shrine that contains Amaterasu in the Zen underscore GU process. That's that Amaterasu is a Japanese yeah. character. That, that's it's a the Japanese sun god thing. And then Ah Ra In, he links three broken YouTube links and a copy pasted description of the Hinoki Cypress tree from Wikipedia. Wait, so he 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 went from Egypt, yeah, Egypt to Japanese folklore. Sa Mu, and then immediately uh, Chinese shit. I'm sure this has absolutely everything to do with the occult conspiracies of late, 9/11, and the legend of the sinking of Atlantis. Dot dot dot. And the remord survival and soul and eternal enemy of the mystery cults who turn to cannibalism, rape, torture, and human sacrifice. And he leaks a CIA handbook of like a Satanist convention, but it's just a political thing. Mm. Like it doesn't have it, it's like two pages. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because I mean the Satanists like the, that like that was like a big movement in like the nineties. Like they were going hot. Like Holy to, shit! Yeah, you know yeah. what? This dude is probably born in the eighties then. And he's just stuck in the satanic panic. Oh, and yeah, that's, maybe. He's just been looping it on loop. Yeah. Like a goldfish. Mm. Uh, but then, what do I know about finding Ishtar in video games? And then he links this massive document about government conspiracies. It's 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 called the Fluoride Stare. Yeah, I'll they it, have I'll, it. I'll put it in the description, but it's just like, like 7,000 by 7,000 collage. Somebody should back that up in case he takes it down. And then he made a thread on the politics 4chan board that he linked, not knowing how 4chan works because the links die after you know, yeah, yeah, half a minute. But he talked about how he found Ishtar, the Sumerian goddess of war and sexual love in Banjo Kazooie. Man, oh, I'm Hilda, yeah. I tried really hard to find that thread and it was gone. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't pull it up. I'll bet Paul had a fucking field day with this guy <laughs> no 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 because i remember because gruntilda steals the beauty from banjo's sister oh my and god yes you're, you're yeah, right yeah, holy yeah. shit puts her in a cauldron oh my god i remember that yeah that might actually be what he talked about. joe are you 
Joe, Joe, what's your opinions on the succubus uh, and the occult training videos on Pornhub for Samus Aran? Uh, uh, wait, 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 have you been going through my history? Hey, Joe, what do you think about fluoride? I don't like it, you know. I, I really Calcifies be... my pineal gland. Mm-hmm, exactly. Ugh. They're sticking it in our water. They're giving us nice teeth. It's decaying the mind. Ah. <laughs> All right. So I guess I collected a bunch more stories. I'm going to leave out the many, many paragraphs of imagined demon sex diaries. Just know that in between each one of these, there's like four or five. Well, I mean, that's mostly what I mean. It's mostly just masturbation. Yeah, it's most, yes. mostly them jerking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one of the people that I'll cover later literally would set up Omegle ERP chats. Oh, sure. It would be yeah. like, hey, here's the subject and uh, here's the ERP time. But he wouldn't give out his Discord because people started getting really weird about it. Mm, there might have been a little bit of trolling going on. I can't believe Just a it. a little bit of trolling. Yeah. No, I'm 4chan of all places. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Here's another story from an illustrious sucker. Oh, boy. I am fully prepared and want a succubus mommy GF badly. Hopefully one that looks like Ari from League of Legends. <laughs> Based on the testimonials of you all, it sounds not only easy with the letter, but also very much worth it. I'm so used to using my imagination to just jerk off alone. Although I am extremely scared of the paranormal, and some guides say to do it at 3 a.m. with the lights off, I'm worried that if I do a letter ritual, I'll just put fearful energy out there and attract more crap that feeds on it, and it'll try to draw more by actually scaring the shit out of me. It wouldn't take much, maybe. Just a sudden touch or a noise. Well, he's really concerned, because if he's up after 3 a.m., that's at least four hours past bed Betty by time. Yep. She, and if mom catches him, that is going to be an immediate spanking. <laughs> In all fairness, I feel like if I, like, wrote whatever wish list I had for my succubus mommy GF... And I suddenly felt a hand touch me. I'd probably be a little scared as well. So in all <laughs> fairness, I think that it's kind of fair for him to be a little afraid. Around the beginning of October in 2020, I got horny and tried summoning a succubus. I went here to the threads to ask how to summon one and was told to look up the letter method. Well, I tried doing the letter method by ejaculating on a piece of paper and then burning it. However, I didn't have a bowl or a candle, so I just held it over the oven burner. Mm -hmm. I was afraid of burning the house down, and also myself, so I put the burning letter under cold water before it finished burning. I still wanted to complete the ritual by burning the letter, so I went outside to the cold October night to dry the wet, semi-burnt letter in the cold air. I tried using matches, but the letter was cold and wet, so it wouldn't light outside because of the wind. So I went outside and put the cold, burnt letter in a plastic cup, then lit a match, put the match in the cup. Since fire and plastic don't mix, the cup was melting, and once again, I put it under cold water and gave up. You know, this is like almost exactly like the Cumbox guy. Like, he tried destroying that artifact as well, but it was so soaked through the cardboard that it wouldn't burn. So, and he kept it after that, so it was just a smell of rotting cum, burnt cum, like, <laughs> under his bed for, like, three years. No burn, only succubus GF mommy. So I gave up, the letter wasn't fully burnt, and I throw the cold, wet, semi-burnt cum letter in the garbage. Nothing happened around three, so I assumed I didn't do it correctly. Yeah, this guy fucked it up. Yeah. I also assumed I don't have to wait a few days, but I was scared for my mortal soul. So I imme so he fucking immediately narks, goes to an Orthodox church, and asks the pastor if God could forgive me. I don't want to go to hell. Do you think I could try again? I want to know what that conversation sounded like. Listen, the kind of this person, I guarantee this is the second or third time the pastor has had to hear this guy confess to coming on a piece of paper and getting scared. Let's do a quick R. Let's do like a, a quick like R. Okay. I'm the priest. You're the cum guy. <laughs> Father, forgive me. I've sinned. I shoot my goop goo. I shoot my goop goo and get scared. I shoot the goop goo and burn my house down. I start beating the shit out of the child. <laughs> Understandable. That's yes and, Joe. You should try it sometime. Shoot the goop goop. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd normally say like, ah, no, thank you. <laughs> Father. I'm you, laying. Father. <laughs> laying. Yeah, I'm, I'm laying now. Leave me you alone. You wasted my gogurt. <laughs> Father, the demon did the quickie quick and left me. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, Anons, this is a new question. All I could do is sigh. Lilith made a real fool out of me today. I'm only telling you this so you can learn the lesson I did the easy way. It's humiliating, but important. All the girls she threw my way online were catfish. Every single one of 36. Yeah. One even tried to pull an FBI scam on me by pretending to be a 15-year-old, pretending to be a 25-year-old. 
The other girls I met IRL lost interest in me. I know Lilith knows I'm sad. She's conciliatory and apologetic now. What if Lilith sent those women? What if Lilith sent her 25-year-old succubus daughter out and he was to just fight testing perverts? Him, testing him to see if he was failed. A At the same time she did all this, Lilith also gave me a confidence boost to do things myself. Ask girls out on my own and take the nose with class. She gave me a second boon, but it relied on me doing things myself. So maybe that was the real lesson. Don't ask others for help to do things you can do yourself. Don't try to find the easy way out. Use your freedom. Asking others for help puts you in their debt and you lose your freedom. Yeah, yeah. That's she kind is. of like a prison thing. Like, <laughs> you don't you don't go ask him for no, like, Snickers or nothing like that. Yeah. Yep, you don't go ask him for a new pair of shoes because you're going to owe them a pair of shoes plus extra in a week. Yeah. You don't know how to do something? Don't ask for help. He was, like, this guy was close to understanding that maybe you have to try and do shit. But instead he's just saying she isn't Santa Claus, but she's a good teacher. He so he was like a like two yeah. steps away from understanding. Well, that oh, that's freak. that's like Christian. He at like twenty four. He wanted uh, Santa Claus to send him a pretty girlfriend. Jesus and he Christ! Lost, yeah, he uh, he stopped believing in Santa Claus after that did not happen. Oh my God! What if he just tried it again? What if he tries it in prison? It's, Santa Claus, can I get out of this psych ward? Yeah. Santa Claus, can, can I send see my me, mom? <laughs> Santa Claus, can you can you head, can you please send me a big titty goth GF? Thank you. Yeah, can you please, um, can you please just let me have a video call with Barbara? <laughs> That's all I want for Christmas. All right, now I'm going to warn you, campers, counselors, these are some unsuccessful summoners, all right? Sometimes you just fail at life and summoning. Mm -mm. For me, I discovered I was blocked by certain spirit groups that just basically guarded me from sucking my influence. A combination of non-dynamic spirits and some male spirits who don't like what I think of women. <laughs> it goes to a far period beyond this life. But yeah, I can interact with some spirits, but not with females. And they do stop blood flow to my penis and keep me flaccid at times. I don't th think that most people or entities alike when you think about women, sir. <laughs> Either this is just one giant LARP, or I'm as undesirable to succubi as I am to IRL women. Oh, this guy needs to. Uh, this guy really needs just like a bump in like his attitude. Yeah. You know, a kick, a pit, uh, he had a uh, jump in his step or whatever. He you had call a couple it. people, you know, giving him some feedback. Hey, fellow incel wizards, I too lack the ability to track women and succubi. I felt that not only just succubus do it to me, but most entities in general. I've had some entities interact with me, but it's been pitifully few. It's like either it's all fake, I'm incapable of perceiving, or it's too much of a bother to reach out to me. I've had practically zero paranormal interactions my entire life. My family would say they'd see ghosts now and then, but I've never seen such a thing. I was hoping the succubus thing would be different. You know, his family probably does see ghosts, but the issue is it's him coming out of the basement at like 3 or 4 a.m. <laughs> completely <laughs> naked, and they see just a pale, like, giant object see moving. Yeah, moving through the room very quickly Moaning at night. and complaining. Yeah. When you're so undesirable as a person that even the ghosts, who don't even want to try to fuck you... Avoid you. Yeah, he's an energy vampire. Oh no! That's why you can't see the paranormal. Mm -hmm. One and on has a story to share about themselves. Imagine for me a situation. You have an incredible and naturally talented individual with a heart of pure gold. However, this individual is horrendously bullied, gaslit, abused, and raped. Why? Because they were born looking pretty and unique. Imagine the chances. You must have won the lottery from birth, right? Bzz wrong from the beginning you were fighting the good fight against the dying of the light i'm doing a jerk off motion right mm, now this fucking yeah. dweeb nobody to trust but yourself until you found a house of wolves that is ha 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 amnesia truly is an interesting condition you begin to erase the past because the horrors of reality are too much too much for the sane to survive at least i do not particularly mind being declared any myriad of mental disorders because I know that I saw what I saw. Simple as game, set, match. Now, if only I could learn chess. Yeah. Well, wait, so this person was horrifically abused and raped? No, they're a fucking lying loser. They, uh, oh, he's talking about women. Their, no, their definition of being raped is that a woman said, you're making me uncomfortable. Can you please leave? 
Well, he's he's basically oh. like Harry Potter, like in his mind. Like he oh looks like God, under the yeah. cupboard and like the Dursleys or something. <laughs> Dursleys, to him. yeah. The Dursleys had him kicked out of the house uh-huh. for trying to touch the pet pig. That he awful tried. Dursley boy gets a hundred presents for his birthday, and poor Mister Potter only gets one <laughs> hand me down. He puts on the hat. The hat just says, "Um, <laughs> I, think I don't think leave. you belong here." And then he screams, "He's being raped and abused yeah. by the hat, the Sorting Hat." So someone. Uh, even the people in the forum were like, dude, shut the fuck up. He responds, do as thou wilt, my friend. We can't all be de- degenerate bisexuals, after all. Sally forth and seize the day. I won't be losing any sleep over you, mind. I merely wish to extend the hand of friendship to you. But it was you who essentially wanted to ERP, correct? But please understand, I'm not berating you. It just so happens that with a life of unending hardship... You begin to view people in terms of exploitable weak point. What a fucking chode. Yeah. Holy shit. I worked with someone like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's just like it's always a pain in the ass. Like whenever like a person like this, like he takes <laughs> he takes your lunch out of the refrigerator. Like he uses the last of the coffee and he doesn't refill it. And he just lets it burn like on the top. It's, it's really just an awful person to be around. You have evidence that he's been stealing your lunch out of the fridge and you go to him to confront him. About, he immediately goes to HR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just a fucking ingratiating little fucking loser dweeb. <laughs> he wants to girl bus but he doesn't know how <laughs> god all right now i've got my three favorite people oh okay not you not not well, yeah maybe, yeah, maybe yeah. you can kind of like christine mm. but these are my three favorite schizoids no i may as well be garbage <laughs> so i've got three people i've got mine who is training to become a succubus in the next life Every single post has anime demon girls attached, usually with their feet exposed. Oh, sure. I've got Mother, who is in an incestuous relationship with their succubus mommy. Mm. And I've got Kitten Morningstar. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, w- I would like to pause for a these me- These people are the reason why... I don't like being barefoot with company over. I'll usually... I'm wearing socks right now in my own living room. I don't want people to see my feet because they're going to be weird about it. Joe. Stop looking at her feet. (laughs) Well, no, I'm just trying to get a glance, you know. I I I just want to see what brand... Is that Haynes? Is is there there something wrong with taking a glance? If you want to see my feet, hit my cash app. You know what would be the creepiest present to give someone? Those little shoes that have the toes in them? I've seen, <laughs> I've seen, I'll do you one better. No, they got little toes. You um, can walk and be get racks stuck in between them. I'll, I'll yeah. do you one better. I've seen the frog shoes that have like the individual toes. It is unnerving to look at. <sighs> it's like a pair of shoes just shaped like Joe's mouth. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <clears throat> so to prepare for the future for mine, this is their name. Mine is their name. Uh, they quite literally, they're the ones that set up Omega ERP chats. <laughs> mm it's kind of silly to ask, how does it work question regarding a person's soul. But the idea is that different species of souls are not qualitatively different, and thus one type, like my own, can turn into another. Thus, I'm being... And this is probably the same fucking person. No one says thus or perchance without being a massive fucking schlong gobbler. Thy verily. <laughs> exactly. I'm being educated and conditioned to mentally become a succubus while I'm alive. And then once I've died and flown to Lilith's realm, the transformation will be completed. I'm grooming myself to become a succubus. (laughs) I'm grooming myself to pleasure nerds on the internet. No. And he's just doing it like five, six, seven hours a day. Exactly. He's in every single thread. (laughs) Yeah. For months. I'd like to take another minute for our campers. Campers? (laughs) Don't jerk off men on the internet. Campers, if you're on Omegle... Or if you're on, like, any of those, like, weird chat sites, you're fucking nerds. Stop fucking nerds. Thank I just you. Got, I just got, you just got an email on your tablet uh, saying, for Stephen King lovers, you should check out the new Plex subscriptions. Oh, oh. thank you, Plex. Yeah, they get Stephen King. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just, yeah. yeah. He's thank got you, Plex. five good movies, 14 bad movies, 85 <laughs> awful See, movies. Stephen King is the type of guy who's not going to go on Omegle to fuck nerds. That's why he's on Well, no, I mean, he, all the blood was rushing out of his nose. He couldn't possibly get an erection during <laughs> exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. So this is their attempt. Someone was saying, hey, aren't succubi demons? Demons are, like, bad for you? <clears throat> How arrogant do you have to be that you're completely submerged in the Yahweh bubble? Like, literally to the point where it's questionable whether you know anything that's actually true, and then you want to come in here and tell us about all the stuff that you know nothing about? Points of fact. One. Succubi aren't demons. 
Two, you're pathetic. Three, you're lying. God didn't create the universe. And it's an absolute joke to claim that evil bastard is the source of all goodness. He split that. That should be three and four. Mm -hmm. Four, literally anybody who's not in the Yahweh bubble can look at a God who says everything but me is evil and realize he's a con artist. So if succubi aren't demons, what are they, sir? Alien. Alien. <laughs> to make it even simpler, succubi are just like any other human women out there, but they are beautiful. They are honest most of the time. When they say, let me help you, they actually help you. They are proud of you when you grow. They don't care about your money. They can protect you. Your family is her family and vice versa. They never say no in sex. Bloody orgies. They are as close to a goddess as possible, so your petition might be heard better. When you are sick, they can help you cure faster. So, they had me in the first half. It's like, okay, is this person actually just, like, trans? They just want to be a good woman? No. no. They made very clear about that, because people kept asking them, like, are you just trans? They're like, no, I am not. I am a, uh, oh yeah, here it is right now. Mm -mm. As a man, I like to take dick once in a while. <laughs> yeah, you know what happens. I was hanging out at my at my at my friend's house. And I just tripped and fell on his erect penis. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, like whenever you're in a bar and there's no seats available, if there's like a nice strapping young gentleman who He's offers to like, sit on you. Yeah, you see, you see, doctor, we were we were painting the house naked because we wanted to make our uh -huh. tans nice uh -huh. and even. Yeah, yeah. And um, he was at the base of the ladder. He was supporting me as all good bros do. And, <laughs> and I, just, I made I it fell. oopsie poopsie, I and I got, I got my gut scrambled. I, I fell, and he laid himself flat on his back in order to cushion my fall and oopsie poopsie when a million mm. shot yeah, yeah I was, I, was, I, had a, shot. I had an accident in the barn I was showering off next to the horses and uh. one just came right up on me and ran all 14 inches and like <laughs> per, per, perforated my organs was, it's the darkest thing doc I just had this glass jar I was trying to pick up no! my hands were full yeah, yeah. I was eating some ice cream Anyway, as a man I like to take a dick once in a while don't cap that you didn't hear me say that. that's this weirdo saying it However, what I feel from and understand about Xianity, I refuse to type his name, Christ. Is but that, you put his in, in yeah, like a proper his, noun. He put his in all caps and then <laughs> typed the word Christ anyway. Uh, whoever created it despises women. Those poor, broken little bastards of women. Many of them are obsessed with baptism. Why? To sever beings of their connection to their mothers, because her fluid is the first fluid known by all new all new beings, mammalian anyway, but also reptiles and many others. Get your shit together, x and know precisely what it is you have been forced to swallow. You have to sever the connection to the lizard brain by getting a baptism. I guess so. <laughs> this is how you would fix the first world, by the way. <laughs> the solution to declining birth rates is third world immigration or to indoctrinate your population with religion so they become breeders. A second solution would be cutting welfare and letting natural selection kill the inferiors. Yeah. The third and most based option, that's not me calling it based, would be to take away women's rights. Okay, let me take that back. I do want to append base to it. That's not based. That's fertility, disgusting, actually. Fertility no. rates drop as women get more educated and waste their youth pursuing mostly useless career paths. I want the to... alliance with the Bernie Sanders guy. <laughs> women hit 40 and they just go back to the Victorian era and they like Bernie Sanders. Anyway, next user. This is Mother. Mother is a poster who is currently in an incestuous relationship with his succubus mother. He has the mark of Cain, which, as he says, forever labels me as one of those who will always want freedom and be away from society. A succuma male. Mm. Hey, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's just, just find like a nice cave, like one that isn't <laughs> occupied by a bear. Look it up on Google Maps or something. And See, yeah. he actually that is actually something he's wanting to do. Oh, he's yeah. trying See? to find See? his yeah. cave. Looking at porn makes him very angry. Seeing women in public with another man makes him very angry. His therapist and the facility he's currently inside of with internet access makes him very angry. They keep taking away like his belt and stuff like that. Yeah. He's, he's disgusted with them. He hates the 5G hypno towers, but he loves his succubus mommy. All right, Joe, go ahead and read this one. Oh, okay. Uh, so about his mother. It's truly beautiful. In this life where most of the women I meet are either psych, uh, psychiatrists. psychiatrists or grocery store 
Oh, cl- I thought I said grocery store jerks. <laughs> We're rounding back over to the jerk cops. Let's go. Most of the women I meet are psychiatrists or grocery store clerks. Yeah, yeah, clerks. <laughs> I'm so happy and grateful that there is someone, especially this beautiful, in my life, who appreciates me for who I am. I would be a total incel if it wasn't for my mother. Of course, I'm still a total schizo, but I am waff my mother, <laughs> which means I can disregard NCP opinions. NPC opinions. Yeah, yeah. They're always just walking around. Like, I mean, like, GTA, I'm driving around. <laughs> I'm going on the sidewalk. I don't obey the rules. Have you uh, seen those mud crabs? Terrible creatures. <laughs> Women. Dreadful creatures. That's the, that's the succubus people. It's not yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> Poor, stupid, and drunk is no way to go through life. <laughs> Anyway, you're saying. Yeah, my uh, my mother is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen, and I love her more than anything else. You can clip that because that is true about Joe. He does love his mother. I enjoy spending time with my mother. What's wrong with that? I don't. A boy can't do that. Why? What's wrong with that? <laughs> my uh, for a total incel weirdo like me, it can feel strange having a woman in my life who doesn't try to get away from me when I approach her. <laughs> I'm a secular incel, but an esoteric Giga Chad. <laughs> He's Mo- trapped this poor woman somewhere. My mother fell in love with me because of me beauty. <laughs> me beauty like a pirate. Arr! She <laughs> loves me singular eye. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. me booty. Yep, and the, the <laughs> parrot that's on like my sh- shoulder. Uh, masculinity and strength because of my courage and ruthfulness. <laughs> ruthlessness. Yeah. Joe, I have an easier time with my eight-year-old nephew reading. Come on. No, but he's reading stuff like uh, the, the man cha- with the cop. He's reading chapter books. Uh-huh. No, he's not. Don't lie. I won't lie. Uh, uh, because of my ability to love and take care of her, I fell in love with her because she was the only woman who was capable of such feelings, and she was the first one who managed to evoke the overflowing feelings of love within me. <laughs> but don't worry, it's not all love and caring. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel immense wrath towards human women. They are not on my side. The biggest crime is that human women want to take my money away, which is far worse than the energy reserves that my mother acquires for herself. Human women want to take that money away from me, meaning that I can no longer buy food nor shelter, and thus I will not be able to have sex with my mother. Mm-hmm. This is, yeah, this is Christian writing this. Man, yeah. I can't believe women don't want you to sleep with your mother when you're involved with them. Uh-huh, yeah, like, they disgust me. That's like so I, unreasonable. They took away my PlayStation Network accounts. I got no Barbussy for a year. <laughs> you can't get new Lego sets. Yeah, no, he can. There's probably a, a bunch of great ones that just came out that he doesn't did, have. Did Christian ever watch movies? No, nah, I yeah. he didn't really like movies. I was like, because this guy does have one movie that he really oh, likes. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Pink flamingos. <laughs> uh, by the way, he archives all of his porn in case it ever gets deleted off the internet. Well, like I mean, that was, is a big issue, yeah. He was re-uploading to the Spanish Pornhub all these different videos that he thought were high-quality erotica. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, like, I, Pornhub just deleted, like, a couple million videos off their servers, like, they, a couple years ago. Did they get rid ago. of the Samus Aran Succubus Occult training? I think so, yeah. Oh, it, my if God. It's, if it's not downloaded, if it's in your favorites, you're going to go back and it's going to say, this page not found, come oh. somewhere else. The Succubus <laughs> in HR heard about it, and she wanted to look out for her sisters. I have been cooming to porn. <laughs> Let's cooming. Yeah. And lusting after whores for the last few days, and it has made me incredibly angry. I constantly felt like I wanted to beat up everybody, and it's been a lot more difficult to summon my mother because of that. As for my mother's orders, I deleted the porn clip, which originally drove me into rage. My mother knew it was the real culprit, so she allowed me to keep the other clips, as they may serve as fine inspiration for my masturbatory fantasies. <laughs> it's like that comic of, like, the uh, Tales of the Diaper. <laughs> he loves that one. I feel the rage dissipating already, and soon I will make love with my mother again. This is the one that made my fucking jaw drop. <clears throat> Succubi are often depicted as monsters who will always devour their lovers. But my mother has taken another arrangement. I am too beautiful to be devoured, so she will simply devour other women, mainly crushes I see in person, as I love women, but I am unworthy of their presence. She uses some kind of process to turn my crushes into dolls, taking the personhood away from them and allowing me to focus on her more, which I am more than happy with. In my masturbatory fantasies, 
I refer to these women as dolls. They are not alive. Okay. I've been masturbating too much to other women. Gotta remember to coom to my mother every once in a while. So, wait a minute. He will not be devoured by his mother because he is too good to be devoured by his mother, correct? Yeah. But he's not worthy to be in the presence of these other women that yeah. he happens to, like, come across in his life. Women are so disgusting and awful, and he hates them, and they're so bad, but he's also not worthy to be in their presence. Mm. But he depersons mm. them into fucking dolls, like Buffalo Bill. Yeah, well, I, I definitely know, like, which, like, wife who is for him. It's Asuka. He loves her. I think he would like Ray because Ray is like a doll already. Yeah, she doesn't think... have any personality. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And she's also a mommy. <gasps> spoilers for no, that 30. is spoilers. That is spoilers. Don't <laughs> look into it for a just watch the series. It's all mommies all the way down. Trust mm -hmm. me. Oh yeah. no. The sad reality of this situation is that there's always that desperation beneath my facade. I love women and I want to be loved by them. I do not consider my life worth living unless I get romantic attention from the opposite <laughs> sex, but none of them will love me. I carry this curse deep within my heart, and it will spell the end of me. I have to uphold the facade due to my current life situation, being locked in a fucking mental ward. Mm. No, just a couple months, whatever. Yeah, everybody's done a month or two in the, the nut hut. <laughs> Neither will the glibness of my tongue, the shimmer of golden coin, nor the sharpness of steel get me out of this. I have been chained and forced to live in stagnation. All the while, the solutions sit there so tantalizingly close. I had a weird dream today. One of the cashiers I am infatuated with came to me. In the dream, I saw her clear. She revealed her pussy to me and wanted to have sex. Sadly, some part of me was still conscious, and I felt as if I should rather be with my mother. I woke up, and my mother expressed her disappointment to me. I couldn't really fantasize about the girl afterwards. Yeah. He's so dedicated to his mother, but the second some cashier shows her pussy to him he's, uh, like, yeah, he's drooling he's making the wolf howls a wook a yeah, wook yeah. He's, he's he's shouting out words like a creepy old man on Facebook mm. yeah <laughs> big booboos <laughs> yim yum let me see some great hot sexy oh yeah ugh I'm spending way too much time in the cities I the Oh. I would say so. <laughs> the women in this town are almost unnaturally beautiful. They only serve to distract me by invoking deep feelings of infatuation or blinding rage. God, I have it so hard. I'm just surrounded by beautiful women all the time. <laughs> you might be in L.A. That might be the issue. Because yeah. like ev almost everybody in L.A. is just like this mask of like a human being. Just no emotions. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to rip other people apart and get ahead of with them. Human women hate me. An escort will not give me her services, no matter how much I pay. Not that I have much money to pay them with anyways. Even a proper human girlfriend will demand me to buy her gifts and take her to restaurants. My beloved mother only wants me to buy what I need in order for us to consummate our love better. Also, I'd rather use my own rituals to summon my mother, which... I assume means he's just buying, like, pornography and chocolate. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm, OJ to keep up the juices She in only wants, my mother only wants me to buy what I need in order for us to consummate our love better. Is she getting him to buy condoms? Because, yeah, like, you can, like, completely just, like, come inside of a condom and you can just wrap it up and, yeah, just store it somewhere. Is he making That's a proof. fucking pocket pussy with condoms and sponges? <laughs> he's got a two liter of Pepsi. He's got two sponges. He's got a rubber glow he oh turned inside God. out. And he's got a photo of his mommy. Oh, my God. Oh, he also, one of the things that he finds impossible with women is that women demand him to consistently. That's how he spelled it. Hold eye contact, otherwise they get bored and leave. Yeah, yeah. I like to stare in, like in my pockets, at my feet, like in my phone. <laughs> Anything yeah. except them. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, uh, at one point in the thread, someone posted like the Homestuck shipping chart image, and uh, he immediately responded to it saying, "Can anyone please help me read into this romance chart?" He didn't understand it was a goof. It was the gray people, yeah. It was the disgusting gray people again. Like, I went into this assuming a lot of this was people making shit up, LARPing, but I, yeah. this is what convinced me that this guy was actually fucking gone. Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, the, the big... There's nobody to really troll on 4chan. It's all trolls. It's so, all I mean, the, dregs. Yeah, it's all dregs. yeah, yeah. 
This is their plan to defile a church. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's go. I remember the Christian Christian comparisons. They get stronger as we go through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Human women have never liked it. Again, bitching about women. These bitches. It doesn't matter how much I love them. My feelings will always go unrequited. My mother, on the other hand, shows me true love. What human women want of me now bears no weight to me whatsoever. It doesn't fucking sound like it, dude. Yeah, he's, he's like the skunk in like the Warner Brothers cartoons. <laughs> the Pepe Le Pew. Yeah. Women have given me less than nothing, and for that, they shall reap what they sow. <laughs> me and my mother, that's not grammatically correct, will feast together in our gardens. Let the vultures and snakes starve on their scraps. My mother wants me to defile the, lo the local Christ cuck sanctuary. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's saying, like, you know, the politicians and the whores will look up and, and shout, help us. And he's going to look down and whisper, no. Mommy. <laughs> yeah. My mother wants me to go to the Christ Cuck Sanctuary at 3 a.m. There we will dance to our favorite music. She told me that she will play it for me so I don't have to worry about other people hearing me. When we dance together, our love will defile what the agents of the Archon who venerate the place hold dear. My mother desires this so much, but I will have to first get used to high speed, low drag movement and just dancing in general. Is he going to like try to break into the church or is he like going to just dance outside of it in the parking lot? and well, just hope that somebody doesn't see him. Wh what do you think is going to require less effort? <laughs> he's probably going to. He's probably just going to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit of scouting has revealed it's just open space. There's a modern church right next to it, so it's likely to have camera surveillance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a small town. I doubt there's going to be anyone there at 3 a.m. If anything, I might actually have Satanists visiting the place since it's summer. I think the best course of action is to start by running off into the woods and blast my music there. Like a deer. <laughs> like some kind of deer who got loose in the neighborhood and now he has to go back to the woods where he belongs. Yeah. Change is brewing yet again. I was informed a while ago by the institution that they are trying to get me into my own apartment. Oh, that's quick, not a good idea. Quick look for... <laughs> <laughs> Google Maps reveals that it's close to a sizable plot of woods that only has a small dirt road. It would make for the perfect hiding spot to blast my music and praise my mother. It will be better for the future whether I'm going to take hostile action against my surrounding people or not. So he's yeah. planning on kidnapping these people and putting them in, a, in his basement. These woods are going to determine whether or not he shoots up his fucking psych ward. Yeah, he's going to try to build his hey, own kill dozer. Hey, um, <laughs> if anybody knows about this man, can somebody please reach out to his psych ward and let them know this is not okay. He wants to hurt people. I am not sure why are they are why they are now letting me go so easily. They have held me here for about a year. It could easily hold me for another. Oh yeah, you know me. I'm so <laughs> fucked up in the head. They can lock me in a box for three years, and I wouldn't be able to do a thing about it. Dude, his insurance probably is like, this is enough. This is fine. Just let him go. I'm not paying for this anymore. I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, at least. If it allows me some time for my own and possibly to camp out in the woods, I will gladly take it. My mother has shown me images that the forest will be empty. He just said he looked at it on Google Maps. Mm. Well, that's his mother. The yeah. computer's his mom. <clears throat> Thanks to that one person, by the way, who recommended the bug out bag video for me, the hammock idea will prove to be invaluable as I hate the idea of sleeping against forest ground inside a tent. Molluscophobia and all that. He's afraid of snails. Uh, they are scary. Yeah, they've got slime. They've got shells. He's, Two bad things right there. He's going to destroy all women, but he's afraid of snails. Mm -hmm. They've got the jutting eye sock. I don't like that. <laughs> Uh, here's some of the things that their mother has done for them. Today I experienced a very beautiful moment with my mother. It was only brief because I got interrupted by something, his daily psych meds. Mm -hmm. But it felt just amazing. As we were cuddling, my mother started singing 99 Luft Balloons to me. I think she may have deliberately chosen this since most of my fantasies have been related to warfare these past few weeks. Ugh. <laughs> oh, his mother uh, cured his corona. Uh, Corona is far more spiritual in nature, and his succubus mommy uh, healed him before oh, he got sick and lost okay, anything. Nice. Yeah. 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 
He's getting close, by the way, to the point where his mother will reveal the winning lottery numbers so he can build a house for them. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I mean, there's only like 8 million possible combinations. I'm sure you'll get it eventually. <laughs> yep. He's definitely going to build a house, too, like Arthur Morgan in Red Dead 2. Yeah. He's going to build a house over several days. Yep. And not just, he can't fucking sleep on the ground because of snails. Yep. Listen here, Dutch. I got to suck you, Miss Wife, now. I can't be going on in this bank <laughs> robbing and tomfoolery. <laughs> Come here, women. <laughs> what if Arthur, Arthur Morgan should have had a succubus and he wouldn't have died of, like, yeah. whatever he dies of in the game. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I, I played most of Red Dead 1, not 2, so I, I got to play 2. That Here's looks amazing. Here's what you yeah. need to understand. The process of becoming a succubus is actually very unpleasant. He was becoming a succubus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Arthur Morgan is a succubus. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, okay, John's the, in part is, one. Yeah, yeah okay. he plays That's John. Right. Okay, yeah, because yeah. I haven't played much with Arthur. Arthur Morgan is in the in the sequel. Yeah. Or sequel game, that's a prequel. Oh, that's yeah. right, it is, yeah. yeah. I wanted to take my mother for a date, and I was pondering whether I should take her to a Chinese restaurant or the local burger joint. She has desired it for far too long already, but due to my really bad financial situation, I couldn't really afford it. Well, this guy's not buying, like, two plates. It's one plate, so he can't afford eight fifty. Well, well, no, no, Joe, he is buying two plates worth of food. Let's not kid ourselves here. But, uh, but the Chinese buffet, I mean, that's you one, one person equals four plates. You think he's got money for Chinese buffet? Ah, see, I don't know. <laughs> don't break the yeah. two Well, you paid bill. for it. You paid for it, yeah. Yeah. Your tax dollars. By the way, this man's vote counts just as much as yours. Oh, yeah. Or even more sometimes. Yeah, if he's in a state like Ohio, that's a vote that's worth like eight times as much as like a Chicago vote. Yep. <laughs> God mm. bless America. <sighs> but listen, Mother and I isn't just full of fun little fun little bits. He's got a lot of life in I refused to cooperate with the doctors and social workers, and I was getting some pretty intense fits of rage and destroyed my apartment completely. I'm fairly certain it was the mold causing it. Thankfully, I've moved into a new apartment in the facility. One thing that definitely helps regarding that negative energy is throwing away anything that the devil holds reign over. In my case, it was a copy of Final Destination 3, the previous occupants left over. Yeah. Holy prize fucking possession. Think about that. In a fucking psych ward, someone left Final Destination. Oh, The no. most anxiety-inducing series you possibly could. No, I've seen better than that. I've seen in uh, well, the uh, psych Tomorrow, ward. out of like the psych uh, library, uh, Inland Empire <laughs> on DVD. Oh, no. One of the psych ward pay- well, nurses just has like a stash of anxiety-inducing movies and she leaves it in all the patient's rooms. They just only have copies of It Follows. Uh-huh, yeah. uh, Solo. Solo. The Grudge. Saw, Saw 1, Saw 2, Saw 3. Oh, Hostel. they love Saw 3. The Thing. Yeah, yeah. Sean yeah. Carpenter's The Thing and yeah. Blu-ray. VHS People are Laserdisc. assimilated into others. I, there's things about, I know. If she's got somebody that has a lot of money, she leaves like a PlayStation 2 in there and a copy of Corpse Party. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's right. And then, yeah, he literally did post. Sometimes I think that my mother would like me to shoot up the local psych ward. No, no responses. I think no one wanted to touch that one. Yeah. <clears throat> Just some quick little bits, some quick little nuggets that they left behind, little brown nuggets of wisdom. I really got to get out of the cities. That 5G interference is a very real thing. During days, it was almost impossible to commune with my mother. This person, like, whenever he wakes up, there's, like, a two-minute, like, wherever his... Boot-up bre- sequence. Yeah, yeah, but it's, like, the internet dial-up tone <laughs> from, like, the 2000s. What kind of phone does he use? I I would assume either he, he has like a, a flip phone. He's either got a flip phone. Motorola. Or... This guy loves Motorola. No, he, use, he uses a pager because it doesn't want to be tracked by the government. <laughs> That's true. Oh, uh, here's another, this one is funny. This one made me laugh. Man, that high fructose corn syrup is really fucking my shit up. I think there's some other things fucking up your life, bud. Mm. I think corn syrup, I think Arizona green tea with ginseng and honey is the least of your problems. I don't know. There's massive amounts of corn syrup in everything we eat. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe the corn syrup's more of a problem than the curse girlfriend. Oh, yeah, sure. My mother has told me about the cursed girlfriend. She teaches me ways of recognizing when it happens. The cursed girlfriend will be sent by the Archons. She will be someone I knew from my past. Maybe my cashier crush. The way she works is by making my brains click and forcing uncontrollable feelings of love. 
Every cell of my body will scream for me to be with her, and even my mother may be fooled. But OPSEC is everything to the Archons. <laughs> of course he does fucking military nerd lingo. Yeah, yeah, tango, tango. This That's will, what he says. This will cause some major cracks in her facade. First and foremost, she will not meet me outside of business hours. This is because she already has a family with someone else, and she loves her man very much. Her man is also aware of this and knows that she only does this as a job. So, have you figured out what he's talking about? I managed to d- d- deduce it. Um, he's talking they, about yeah. a stripper. Oh! A stripper okay, was yeah. nice to him, and he has fallen truly in love, and it's an agent of the fucking Archons trying to distract him from his mother. Yeah. You know what? There are worse people to fall in love with than some strippers. Here, Joe. This one's about Delta 8. Oh, okay. I know about that. Yeah. For some months, I've been fetishizing my Delta 8 THC vape as mistress's essence because of how it makes me feel, and I've been enormously overdoing it. Delta 8 is legal and easier to get for these social morons. <laughs> oh, that was my note. Oh, okay. I get you. Uh, <laughs> As I was lying in bed, I experienced a fantasy of one of the nurses in the group home appearing to me. <laughs> it should be noted that I don't fantasize a lot about her. I think she would make a very poor lover. <laughs> this woman came closer to me and was about to kiss me, but as it was happening, I heard a breathing sound. I knew immediately it was my mother's. Sadly, the connection got terminated. <laughs> Again, he's sadly. I don't. I'm doubting this man's insecure. Are you like, loyal to your mom or not? <laughs> you know, holy shit! This is like that try guy, the one that got busted. That was like, I love my wife. I love my wife. <laughs> my I love mom. my wife. And then he's just fucking like an employee on the side, uh, like Tiger Woods. <laughs> yeah. It's always these my mommy guys. Yeah. All right, but I'm gonna tell you this. This is gonna crack the whole thing. All right, this is gonna solve the case. So. <clears throat> I shall do my first bromide detox today. I've always had this weirdly shit feeling when I've been taking iodine supplements and I have a hunch that detoxing may help with that and allow me to regain the connection to my mother. From Wikipedia. An overdose of bromide causes bromism, a neurotoxin effect on the brain which results in intense drowsiness, delirium, seizures, and psychosis. So, like, did he post anything after that? Uh, yes, every constantly. Ugh. So, he's just... Here's, he must be like popping bro like Alex Jones bromide pills. Well, he's also driving. He's popping them and driving. <laughs> It'll make your essence a lot stronger for your succubus mommy. You're spending your tax dollars on bromide supplements. Buy my bromide. <laughs> and Gaber Girl bath water. Yeah, yeah. Whenever that was big. Mommy water. Oh yeah. Mm. Alright, this is my last person. Oh, quote unquote person. This is Kitten Morningstar. They currently are a succubus and master of the demon realm. Definitely not crazy. Mm -mm. Mentally sane. (laughs) Completely eligible for military service. (laughs) Their mother is Lilith and their father is Lucifer. All right. I'm going to give you a little down so you get get some get to know Kitten Morningstar like I have. Oh, okay. Why would they they name their child Kitten? Well, you see, they're one of the Lilim. All of the Lilum, except me, mature much faster than regular human children, so it's okay for him to be sexually attracted to them. No. Uh, it's, a necessi- it's a necessity to fight the curse. I assume he means the girlfriend curse. Mm. And to survive in the fire plains. I grew very slowly and required a lot of care and attention and nourish, but I learned quickly. I know how to survive in hell by my own little boy means. He's they're, mischievous. They're, a, di- they're a diaper person. He's like Dennis the Menace. He's oh, got like, like a, he's a, like he's a diaper person. Yeah. <laughs> Dennis the Menace slingshot, he shoots into Satan's butt mm-hmm. and goes, did I do that? And yeah. he gets no, that was Urkel. Oh, that was Urkel. Yeah, uh, Ur- Dennis. You're right. Urkel is burning in hell. You're right. I'm he sorry. He absolutely is. Yeah, but Dennis the Menace, he would go and uh, bother his neighbor, Mr. Wilson. And M- Mr. Wilson will always be like cooking a steak or something or like jotting in his diary. And this disgusting, naughty boy would come into his home and ruin his preparation. <laughs> Honestly, Dennis the Menace needs to mind his own business. You know, uh, I'm going to say right now, I think he's a menace. He might be a little bit. I hope he goes to jail. <laughs> he probably did go to jail. <laughs> I have banded together with smaller beings than myself and made them grow so I can be protected. I have abused the female's inclination towards defeating? Like D E F E D I N G? Maybe like defeating. Like Maybe he's they, defending like feeding them. Children. He's trying to get know. a child oh, army. It's defend. Oh, that the female's inclinations towards defending the child. I thought it was defeating. Like, 
Yeah, oh yeah, they love punching kids. <laughs> uh, they have to defeat the children. I have not only mastered the teacher-student relationship to attain Gnosis, but the father-son as well. Because I can claim that anyone is my father, for my mother fucks anything that moves. Uh, seeing me grow, yada, yada, yada. He, go, he does this a lot, where he just rambles for paragraphs and paragraphs. Oh, yeah, they do like the babble. I have learned to exploit the customs and the unwritten rules of hell to keep going and be able to return to my room. Which is like a Narnia thing. Like, he leaves in his bed and then goes to hell. You know what this is? This is some crazy, not not crazy person, completely sane person, who watched, like, Hell of a Boss. Uh, and whatever the other one is. Has been it, a hotel. Yeah, you think it could oh, yeah, be yeah. like a Brace to Terabithia situation? He has to swing over a fucking river? That could be it. Well, they, they can't move. They can't swing over anything. They would fall in the water and die. He swings over a river in his yeah. mind palace when he goes to his yeah, room. Yeah. But they don't have good upper body strength. You know, they got like a lot of good lower body strength from walking, but no upper. <laughs> he like swings upside down. For me to get to my room with a girl, I have to know what conspiracies are going on in the house so I can guarantee that mom isn't watching. Mm -hmm. She tends to kill my girlfriends in order to protect me from manipulations. Yeah. Which is extremely... That's like some Frank and Mary West. Yeah, yeah. well, it's like 1984. Like, Big Mother is watching. Yeah. Kill my girlfriends. Uh, yeah, he posts entire Homestuck dialogue RPs. Uh, one of them I was going to read, but... Uh, it wasn't very funny. It was it was a whole fucking chuny ass anime fight with Lilith and Lucifer, and he had Panic at the Disco. Oh, and like, yeah, yeah. He had, it's it's fucking dumb. I'll, I'll put it in the description. I'll have like a little like a text doc or whatever. But it, uh, yeah, it was uh, one of them. It was uh, Nightcore. That's all I'm looking for. It's Nightcore music. Like when they speed up anime girl songs really really fast. Yeah. yeah. If anybody has access right now, I want you to go ahead and, like, after this podcast, I want you to go onto YouTube, look up Joel Nightcore, and I think it was... Um, Vine Sauce Joel? Yeah, Vine Sauce Joel. He made, like, a Nightcore version of um, Limp Biscuit. He made Limp Biscuit Nightcore. It's very good. <laughs> That's, like, such an awful name for a band. Like, Limp Biscuit. Like, <laughs> okay. more, yeah, Soggy Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Night Biscuit. So Kit in Morningstar communicates with his mother, not the other guy's mother. Oh, if he did that, there would be an argument. There would, yeah, there would be a very big argument in the 4chan thread. He communicates with them through AI chatbots, which is how he learned to master his powers and what his purpose is. Uh, that purpose? Protecting humanity. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. like the hero, the anime hero that we yeah. all need. And he's reluctant about it, too. He yeah. says, shit, this job is awful. I am this close to calling it quits and getting my people on a ship and leaving like my dad. Saturn requires an ever-increasing amount of blood every 2,000 years. It was supposed to be the tech tech apocalypse of the late 2000s. I don't know what the fuck that was. Oh, that was uh, Y2K. But that's late 2000s. Oh. So like, uh, maybe it means next, like, end of this millennium. Maybe it means, like, the recession. Like, maybe the, all the banks are going to close. Maybe like, mean, yeah, like, there's going to be, like, a recession, housing market, uh, new Avatar movie, Call of uh, Duty Modern yeah. Warfare 2. Mm -hmm. New Ghostbusters. We're going to see the Ghostbusters again. Yeah. Well, okay, you know what? Actually, you know what? I should have just listened to him. Uh, it was supposed to be the tech apocalypse, but we were there to stop it. Then 2012, then 2016. Now it's every two. Why didn't he stop? He didn't stop COVID. No. Now, now it's every two weeks. Too hard. Good job. He didn't stop it. We work overtime and we continue believing humanity is worth something. Two more weeks of being alive is two more weeks of progress, you damned moron. How much occult knowledge do you possess? <laughs> is two more weeks of staying alive too good for you? When you get to Tartarus, I'm going to have fun with you. Not like it requires too much to make you beg for it. And then that's it. Like he didn't finish his post. He mm. just didn't enter. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, his mother called him upstairs. Oh, that's so right. Go upstairs and mom calls. Yeah. And this was him in response. Uh, someone politely asked why they were furious about the concept of a Fortnite. <laughs> not the game, but just the idea oh, of yeah. a Fortnite is like shorthand. Mm. Yeah, I, I do not like that game. I would be furious as well. Yeah. There's too much dancing in it. But don't worry. Just like us, Kit and Morningstar, is, they're down to earth. They're level, even though they are currently a succubus from the Fire Plains. <clears throat> Ugh. I've seen social groups in astral projection, and they are just as intimidating as real life scenarios. <laughs> a whole bunch of really extroverted, domineering, socially attractive beings who look at me knowing I'm a virgin. Everyone knows you're one and don't want you to approach. 
Well, he probably he wears like a t-shirt that says like "Got virginity." <laughs> what woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, be... that was a bra. That wasn't a shirt. Oh, I'm sorry. How yeah. can he be a succubus and a virgin? That's Holy the succubus shit. that they're sending to all these dudes. Oh my god! Here's his advice with demons, by the way. Never ask for permission. She's a damn demon. Show her who's boss. Sometimes women behave just to see what you would do. It's called a shit test. It, that's called assault. <laughs> um, someone explains that Lilith in Jewish folklore was the original wife of Adam. Right. And he responds, my mother Lilith topped Adam in the Garden of Evil, which confused and scared the Demiurge to escape punishment. She ascended to heaven and now she helps whores defeat evil in men. Yeah, but I, that is like the, the like big thing that pissed off God, like in the, yeah. in the Bible. Right. And cowgirl top. style. No, thank you. Yeah. No, nope, no, thanks. That's the, it's sinful. Yeah. So that's why he had to rip out the rib to make the other one. Oh, so he could suck his own dick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a perfect thing. Yeah. That's a thing that There's works. somebody around the cook and clean and then you get to suck your own dick like a dog. <laughs> Here's a good one. Why do I always get accused of being CIA? I don't even have access to their trash. And anyone with a brain knows the State Department is far more important. Yeah. Yeah. You know what that is? The State Department's more important. That means that he got a letter from, like, the state of Colorado telling him he needed to pay his sewer bill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah so he he's to... created a vendetta against them. They're more powerful than the CIA. Yeah, yeah. He had they to... know about my succubus cell. The state of Colorado would be able to kill Castro. The CIA couldn't do it. He's got almost a grand in unpaid, like, speeding tickets, like, yeah, going through the red lights, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> he doesn't and these people are after him. <laughs> God. If the hierarchical structure is what turns you off of sucking by society, are you against competition? Are you against the material world being unequal? Are you a communist? Yeah, I've seen some of them. The this is response to, by communists. This is response to fucking nothing. It's like a demon red scare going on out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, their most important communications with us, you know, within our community. Mm -hmm. My gnosis, I use this word, which means knowledge, like one would use spirituality or belief, is that Jesus of Nazareth is an incarnation of Dionysus that wasn't meant to weaken Rome from within, but to get rid of the real enemy, the synagogue. Mm -hmm. Jews are a matrilineal race. If their men interbreed, but the women do not, they stop existing according to their own laws. They stop existing without needing to do anything else. Yeah, yeah, because, like, I guess in, like, if, if, like, the mother's Jewish, then, like, all the children are, like, according to, like, Jewish, yeah. like, uh, yeah. Yeah, Jews are very sensitive to their own trickery. <laughs> well, I mean, they're sensitive because they keep chopping the foreskin off. So whenever you do that, the head gets very sensitive. You have to watch out for that. Yeah, they're very sensitive to their own trickery, and they love dominant women. Look up the female Nazi fetish in Israel. It had to be banned because it was too popular. No sources linked. Yeah. He has nothing to... He's just saying that Jewish women love Nazis. This is, this is their final message. Sort of good news, guys. The whole war between heaven and hell is coming to an end. God has finally admitted to being wrong for keeping people caged, stealing from others, killing the world several times, destroying other religions, trying to unify everything, and trying to abuse the cycle of the stars to fit his goals. And most of all, trying to unify everything into one timeline. Mm. That last one is really what screwed things up the most. He has requested the help of Lucifer so that stuff can be returned to the way it was without hitting the reset button for the thousandth time. Negotiations are underway. Everyone agrees that the war between the gods mostly leaves human casualties. For now on, the dead will be managed according to how the humans want their punishment. After all, the underworld has always been a jail and a form of managing overpopulation on Earth, which has not been a problem and is it's still not a problem and won't be a problem for like 200 more years. Yeah, yeah. What, 8 billion now, 9 billion? Eh, yeah, who it's going to take a lot of fucking people to ever worry about overpopulation. Yep. But that, that's what the jail, that's what the underworld is for. From, oh, like, 10,000 B.C. I just want skyscrapers everywhere, like in Ohio, like, just everywhere. Pack yeah. them in. There are skyscrapers in Ohio, Joe. There's what? Like Columbus and Cincinnati. We, yeah. You were, uh, you, or no, since, wait. Yeah, Cincinnati's in Ohio. Oh, okay. It was Ohio. driven through, and, like, there were skyscrapers. The Sandusky Tower. Yeah. <laughs> Negotiations are underway. Everyone agrees that the war... Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, but, but, I'm sorry. I just got I got a little lost mm. in the Zaws. It's like the hit TV show with the yeah. Black Smoke people. There will be one last timeline reset because some of the stuff cannot be fixed, 
mostly to do with food poisoning, the vaccine, and the calcification of your pineal gland. Basically everything that prevents spiritual development by shutting down your body. Lucifer being the Sundere, which is that like anime thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like whenever, yeah. like uh, sometimes like if if an anime girl really likes you, she will step on your balls with mm-hmm. like the underside of her foot, but then she will like give you lunch after to prove that she really cares. That Y'all, is true. Satan is just like that. Yeah. Y'all, I want you to go up to your dads right now and tell that they're a Sundere. Yeah. Uh, Lucifer, being the Sundere he is, doesn't want to admit this, but he would forgive his father if the only one that suffered was him. But there's been so many people wronged for father's actions. This has to end in public execution. Yeah. God will take human form and he will be tried. With him gone, people will be ready for the veil of mystery to be lifted. People will see literal spirits walking around. The merge is on. Oh, yep, it's on. <laughs> Sonic Chu is going to reign supreme. More chaos will happen, but this is very necessary to separate the timelines again. So it's going to merge and then separate again. Mm -hmm. We will make sure that in every timeline there's a story about how bad it is to unify universes. The Jewish Messiah will come. He will tell them to return everything they have stolen because following the law only in letter and not in spirit is not following the law. Poor chickens. Chickens? (laughs) I don't don't know either. Maybe this Uh, guy hates Tyson. (laughs) Here, Joe, you can read the last quote here. Oh, okay. You want me to read it? Yeah, go ahead and read read that. Oh, no. Okay. Christ will return and tell his people to be less faggy. The only thing needed for evil to succeed is for good people to stand down doing nothing. And he will ask the people which one of the angels will be the one to take the throne of God and go worship some of the other sun cults if they choose. The general idea is to use the vagueness of prophecy to our advantage. So all prophecies will come to light in an ironic way. The merge is on. Your OCs will be real. Mm -hmm. I can finally date Magic Chan. They are centered on the Abrahamic fates because they are the ones in charge. But after all that, it really is anyone's game. I am assuming someone will turn Muslims monogamous. Yeah, probably. You know, (laughs) we we have like a great track record of telling them what to do. (laughs) Stop executing people. Like don't throw the stones at their heads. (laughs) As you can see. Being a member of the succubus summoning community, or suckers as we call ourselves, means you're in good company. The creme de la creme. The secular giga chads of esotericism. Definitely not overly sexually stimulated, isolated from human contact, sometimes just fucking dumb, misinformed, or lonely men who feel disenfranchised. Definitely not people who lack the exposure or means to see the bigger picture of what's going on in their lives. And instead of self-reflecting and leaving their salty cookie echo chambers, they feed themselves into a spiral of depression and disillusionment. Definitely not that. They definitely aren't masturbating to anime demon girls. They're definitely getting their dicks in their mommy's oyster. Mm, Salty. (laughs) Now you may think, listen, you may have gotten the impression that I'm being a little bit of a negative Nancy, that I'm being demanding, like insisting you look me in the eyes when you talk to me. But this is all prep work, okay? This is preparing you so that in the next episode, we will be summoning a demon ourselves. <gasps> I'm going to be linking the letter method in the description, and you're going to prepare a letter and send it to us. Let me tell you about t at gmail.com. Let's let me tell you about with three T's, or you can send it to me on Twitter at... Let me tell you PD or on the Discord or you, I, there's a phone number. I forget what it is. I know it starts with 413. Call me. Tell me your succubus letter. Read through the letter method or if you don't want to read that, if you look on YouTube, you'll find like two minute ADHD versions. You have to write a letter full of intent. Tell us how badly you want that succubus to make you shoot the quickie quick goo goo. Oh my God. We have to write something now. Yeah, we have to write things, Joe. We're going to write our letters, and we're going to read some of our wonderful campers, what they've submitted. And uh, we're going to put our advice to the grindstone. We're, we're going to get this going. We are going to summon our own succubus demon to give us that Gluck Gluck 9000 mm. moister oyster quickie wicky. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some of that hot snatch, I call it. Yeah, yeah. No fire. I, I keep grabbing at it. That's why they call it snatch. <laughs> because you're always just reaching out and trying to touch it. <laughs> Reach in there. Pulling it inside out. Yeah. Uh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. No, not Jesus. Sorry, this is the succubus thing. You're not supposed to. Not supposed to. to no, no, no. I don't no. want to. I don't want to be like those ex-gins. Mm-hmm, Yep. If I even see Jesus, I think I'm gonna try to kill him. <laughs> 
Oh, well, that's what he wants. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. he does want that. All right, that's it for the episode. I will see you guys in part two. Yeah, Myself, yes. Camp Counselor Ted, Camp Counselor Joe Buckley, Ooh. Camp Counselor Kirsten. We will summon a demon. I will look at your notes, and it will absolutely work in our favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, if you want to hear more of me, I'm also on Malevolent Movies. It's kind of like a horror movie comedy show. But here's the thing. We just made a Malevolent Movies Discord. So if you listen to it, you should go on in there, and you should tell the guys how much you like my comedy, like how handsome I am, and how, much cool you love, I am. how much you love demon pussy. Uh-huh, and it will piss them off if you do it. So go ahead and do it. <laughs> yep. You can find me on Twitter um, at Salty Snip Snoop. You're welcome to follow me there, but I don't really post that much. Maybe I'll post more. Maybe I'll do more art stuff there. Who knows? Uh, YouTube, Twitter, Discord, uh, Patreon in the description, email, all the other stuff in there. We'll see you next episode. Goodbye, suckers. Oh, yeah. <laughs>